Chapter 1781 Mammoth Violet Blood Translator Born to be he stopped it. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen finally managed to stop the heavenly bone spear. The surroundings were packed with experts that had flocked over. The disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance had gathered. Meng Fei and Xin Li were present, filled with fury upon seeing the first commander and second commander's corpses. Although Di Ruiyan was already dead and Di Xin had been killed, their hatred had not faded. The first commander and second commander would never come back. King King was no longer crying. She was completely focused on Long Chen, and her hands were balled into fists. She was nervous and afraid that Long Chen would die. Long Chen had been blown back so far, and it seemed that he was at a disadvantage. Long Chen, how is the power of this spear of mine? Xiang Yanfei didn't press his advantage. Instead, he just coldly looked at Long Chen. Did you use words to restrict the Alliance head and the Grand Elder so you could properly humiliate me? I don't know where that confidence comes from, but this unchanging poser act of yours bores me. So prepare yourself. I won't let you keep on posing. The divine ring behind Long Chen came to a sudden pause. The world became deathly silent. Feng Fu star. Boom. Alif star. Boom. Life fate star. Boom. Enlightenment palace star. Boom. Divine gate star. Boom. Rumbling rang out with the final explosive sound. Five stars revolved in Long Chen's eyes, and a five-point star lit up within the divine ring. Long Chen's aura surged with each star. It was like another world had been opened. When all five stars were activated, the divine ring actually shrank a level. But after shrinking, the world felt like it had been enslaved. Energy was forcibly taken and poured into Long Chen's body. The divine ring was no longer just capable of countering and applying pressure. Now, it was forcibly taking the world's energy for Long Chen. Due to the world rejecting him, he had been unable to replenish his energy when fighting against Celestials and Empyreans. He was forced to rely on the energy within his four Qi Seas and 108,000 stars to replenish himself. However, after returning from the skyscraping world, his understanding of the nine-star hegemon body art had deepened. This technique was so domineering that it suppressed even the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos refused to work with him? He didn't care. Your energy is my energy. There should be no objections Novaloon.com The world rumbled as the heavenly deos fought him, but they were unable to stop him from taking their energy. Break. Long Chen suddenly let out a berserk roar. He slashed Evil Moon fiercely, blasting the heavenly bone spear away. After sending it away, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon quickly again, unleashing a black stream of light that looked like it would destroy the world. Not good. Xiang Yanfei's expression suddenly changed. The 107 heavenly bone spears behind him vanished, joining together with the heavenly bone spear that Long Chen had just sent flying. Boom. The 108 heavenly bone spears had just gathered when Long Chen's saber landed. An apocalyptic explosion shook the land. The world turned dark, and people felt like the fabric of space had been destroyed. This energy is practically equivalent to a law. The young people these days are really frightening the female elder who had previously tried to smooth things over side. Although she was a nether passage expert, she had to admit that this energy could threaten her. Although they had been surprised before when Long Chen had managed to fight Di Xin's mother, they hadn't been that surprised. They all had sharp eyesight and saw that it had been the result of the saber in Long Chen's hand, not because he himself was so powerful. However, now that Long Chen's five stars had been activated, they finally understood that Long Chen hadn't even been fighting all out against Di Xin's mother. When they realized that, they sighed emotionally. A soul transformation disciple was actually holding back while fighting a nether passage expert. The youngsters these days were really incomprehensible. The 108 bone spears were sent flying. Even combined, they were unable to block Long Chen's attack, stunning the spectators. After all, that first bone spear on its own had been enough to send Long Chen flying, and it seemed like he had used his full power to block it. Was this to mean that Long Chen's strength had now increased by a hundred times? Fuck. His bone spears have bloodline energy and spiritual strength supporting them. As expected, they're different from the replicas from last time. They didn't break. Cursed Evil Moon. 
These heavenly bone spears had both bloodline and spiritual runes that formed a defense that made it so Evil Moon couldn't harm their true bodies. In other words, even Evil Moon couldn't compete with who was harder. If it weren't for those runes, Evil Moon was confident it would be able to shatter those bone spears. On the other hand, Xiang Yunfei was greatly surprised. Long Chen's attack had caused faint cracks to appear on one of the heavenly bone spears. That was the one that Long Chen had sent flying before, and if he hadn't combined the 108 bone spears, that bone spear would have been in danger of shattering. These 108 heavenly bone spears were a perfect set. If even one was broken, their overall power would drop sharply, as they all supported each other through a meticulous formation. Furthermore, losing one meant that there were many powerful moves that Xiang Yunfei would be unable to unleash. Thinking of that, Xiang Yunfei no longer dared to be careless. He crossed his hands on his chest, and a blood rune appeared on his forehead. The 108 heavenly bone spears also had blood runes appear on them as if they had gained some life force. This brat's very crafty. It seems he's seen my power, so he has strengthened the bone spears' defensive power. Shattering one of them will become very difficult now. Using a little trick will no longer work. You'll need to compete with real power said Evil Moon. That's fine. These heavenly bone spears are treasures. It would be a shame to break them. I was originally planning on taking them for myself. Buzz. After explaining his fierce desire for these 108 heavenly bone spears, Long Chen transformed into a bolt of lightning that shot toward Xiang Yunfei. He began unleashing a crazy tempest of attacks with Evil Moon. Xiang Yunfei began fighting while holding one of the heavenly bone spears. As for the other bone spears, they pierced through the air repeatedly at Long Chen. The heavenly bone spears were like 108 experts attacking him at the same time. However, Long Chen's figure was like lightning, and his saber was wild. He unleashed crazy attacks. Each time his saber clashed with a bone spear, it caused the world to shake. That was a power that appalled these experts. The battle had reached a point that it was impossible to see their figures in the sky. They were only able to see saber images and spear images flash through the air causing powerful explosions. How terrifying. Who could even last a second under such berserk attacks? Exclaimed an Empyrean. Although he was an Empyrean and also at the peak of soul transformation, this level of battle had surpassed his imagination. He wouldn't even be able to receive a single one of these attacks. The difference was too great. Are, are they even human? All the experts were appalled. This kind of speed, this kind of power, it wasn't something a soul transformation expert should possess. The Life Star experts' jaws dropped. If these two were fighting them, then it wouldn't even be a battle. It wouldn't be fighting across realms but one shotting across realms. Boom. Divine light filled the sky. The heavenly bone spears were sent flying one by one. Xiang Yunfei himself was also knocked back. What startled cries rang out. Had Xiang Yunfei been defeated? However, Xiang Yunfei's expression was still calm. He suddenly let go of the bone spear in his hand. Violet runes appeared on his hands. Those runes emitted an ancient air, and when they appeared, Xiang Yunfei's bloodline power began to surge. Violet spirit blood. Startled cries rang out. Those violet runes were condensed from spirit blood. Rumor is that Xiang Yunfei's bloodline has shown an ancestral regression, but to actually possess the mammoth violet blood, is that any different from the bloodline of the Xuan beasts? That's not all. The barbarian mammoth race's bloodline is extremely fierce and domineering, but lacking in softness, resulting in them not being able to unleash their full potential. Even their own physical bodies are unable to bear their power. However, Xiang Yunfei possesses human bloodline as well, giving him skill in magical arts and making up for that weakness. His power will probably be even greater than his ancestors. Just as everyone was discussing this, the heavenly bone spears in the sky merged into one. Long Chen, today I'll let you experience my true power, shouted Xiang Yunfei, his battle intent surging. Chapter 1782 Dragon Blood vs. Violet Blood Translator Born to be the 108 heavenly bone spears merged into one violet bone spear. The violet bone spear had just appeared when an immense power caused space to twist around it. It was impossible for people to see it clearly. It possessed a wild air, 
like an ancient monster that had a thirst to devour all the world's blood. A faint violet light also appeared around Xiang Yunfei's manifestation, in particular the mammoth image within. There were also two violet marks in his eyes that made him appear strange and demonic. Did you think that because you could kill my clone, you had the power to challenge me? Let me tell you just how wrong you are. Other people's clones have 80% of the power of their true body, but due to my bloodline, my clone only possessed 50% of my power. For humiliating me and killing my clone, I'll let you experience the true power of the mammoth race. Xiang Yunfei's violet spear suddenly slashed through the air. Its tip emitted a violet thread. It was a thread of light, as faint as silk. But that thread cut the world in two. A cracking sound appeared from the space it passed through. Without realizing what had happened, people suddenly saw a crack appear in the ground beside Long Chen. It continued far into the distance beyond the horizon. The earth was cut apart. Everyone gasped. Xiang Yunfei's attack had been too fast and sudden for them to even notice it. By the time they had noticed it, it was already over. A huge line had appeared in the ground without them even noticing. If this attack were to strike them, they'd be cut in two. Yet, Long Chen's expression didn't twitch. He looked at Xiang Yunfei calmly as if nothing had happened. What terrifying speed, but also what terrifying deductive ability seeing that Long Chen was completely unaffected. People wondered whether he was even a human inside. Xiang Yunfei's attack had been absolutely terrifying, and even though he had given a verbal warning, it had essentially been useless. He had already attacked by that time. Now that the attack had been completed, these experts were able to recall its path through the air. It had just been a moment, but they had seen it. They knew that an existence on Xiang Yunfei's level wouldn't possibly miss. However, they didn't recall seeing Long Chen move. In other words, he had to have deftly dodged this attack without them noticing. Both their movements were so quick that the spectators couldn't track them. It was just a simple attack and dodge, and yet it embodied their power and combat experience. This is your so-called power? It's pretty slow. Only a dead person wouldn't be able to dodge it. Are you sure this is you being serious? Asked Long Chen lightly. The expressions of the experts present twitched. They weren't dead people, but they really wouldn't be able to dodge that attack. All you know how to do is attack. Watch me cut off your head. Although he knew Long Chen was doing it on purpose, Xiang Yunfei was still angered, especially by Long Chen's expressionless face. That was a wordless taunt. The violet bone spear's light intensified, and Xiang Yunfei's manifestation shook. It felt like the world had suddenly grown heavier. The ground sank inch by inch, and everyone's expressions changed as they felt like a boulder was crushing them. It was as though their bodies were about to explode. Mammoth Heavenly Battle Blow Xiang Yunfei's violet bone spear swung in a mysterious arc at the same time. Divine runes appeared within his manifestation and merged with the bone spear. The world grew heavier and heavier, and people felt like their blood was about to explode out of them. This is Spirit Blood Pressure He's not just relying on sheer power, but also the power of his bloodline. Pfft, one person shouted, and as a result of being distracted, he coughed up a mouthful of blood from this pressure. When Xiang Yunfei's violet light surged, Long Chen became covered in green dragon scales, and the power of his own blood chi surged into the sky. He slashed his saber in a wild hack into the bone spear. When these two divine weapons clashed, it was like a pot had boiled over but the pot was the world. Huge waves of earth exploded in every direction. Run. The weaker disciples were the first to flee. Just the first wave of earth made them feel a mortal danger. However, they were worried for nothing. Hu Jinying raised her hand, summoning her domain to protect Clearwind City. Even so, the earth wave roared through Hu Jinying's domain like a tide of magical beasts. It was an amazing yet horrifying sight. King King was pale. She was hiding behind Yi Lingxin, Xin Li, and Meng Fei. Without them, she wouldn't dare to watch such a battle at this range. However, even Yi Lingxin was stunned. Before this, her impression of Long Chen was that he didn't look the slightest bit like an expert. He looked like an entirely different person now that he was in battle. She practically didn't recognize him. Fierce, domineering, merciless, fearless. The power that Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei had displayed made her feel profoundly helpless. 
They were so powerful that she found it difficult to form a desire to even compete with them. Yi Lingxin was an independent cultivator. Her current achievements were the result of her own hard work. Hence, she was a true expert. She had suffered and worked hard. The reason she didn't wish to join a sect was because she disliked how sects only cared about their own self-interest. When she had been weak, those sects had been too lazy to even give her a glance. Now that she was standing out, they gave her a bright smile as if that had never happened. So she did not wish to join a sect she was alone, and she had the power to be alone. However, her pride at such a thing was now shrinking. At the start, she hadn't cared much about Long Chen's power. After all, he had been first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Possessing that kind of power was normal. Even when he had been fighting Di Xin's mother, she hadn't been too moved because she was capable of the same thing. However, as he revealed more and more of his power, she realized that what she had seen was just the tip of the iceberg. She didn't even know how much ice was hidden below the surface. The void continued to explode. Through Ku Jin Ying's domain, people were able to see that the battlefield had collapsed. There was a giant ball of light at the center, one filled with raging violet and green light. Not only is their power equally matched, but even the power of their spirit blood is equal. This battle's quite marvelous just at this moment. Three ancient figures appeared in the sky. They were the other three grand elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Why have the three of you come out as well? Yan Nanshan smiled. Watching in the dark isn't as satisfying as watching it directly. This child Long Chen's not bad. His wine is good, praised one of the grand elders. Ku Jin Ying was speechless. Had these grand elders been sleeping for too long? Their words were completely chaotic with no proper sequence. Have the three of you finally stopped fighting? Asked Yan Nanshan. Yes, it's over. Ah, sorry, I forgot that you didn't get to finish drinking. One of the grand elders clapped his head. As long as the three of you got it out of your system. Just treat it as me showing respect for my seniors. Yan Nanshan smiled bitterly. He had only gotten to drink two cups of the wine that Long Chen had brought. Yan Nanshan looked at the battlefield. Long Chen was still locked with Xiang Yanfei, while Evil Moon and the Violet Heavenly Bone Spear were tied in competition. The ground beneath them was slowly sinking as it couldn't bear their power. Behind Xiang Yanfei was Violet Light, while behind Long Chen was Green Light. These two lights interwove in the air, continuously clashing. The Mammoth Race's bloodline is ranked near the top in the Xuan Beasts. They're wild and berserk but lacking support so they can't maintain their peak power for more than a moment. After merging with the human race's bloodline and making up for that deficit, Xiang Yanfei's bloodline is probably even a level higher than the mammoth race. However, Long Chen's blood qi is also strange. Its fluctuations are so weak, but the will within it is shockingly powerful. Even true dragon essence blood shouldn't possess such a powerful will. It seems that they're not on the same level, wondered a grand elder. Long Chen's blood qi is definitely true dragon essence blood. However, it was from the lowest level amongst the true dragons. The green dragon. Green dragon essence blood is immature, and its power is limited. According to reason, it shouldn't be able to contend with the spirit blood of the mammoth race that has been refined and tempered thousands of times. But legend is that the power of the true dragon essence blood depends on the accomplishments of the owner. So not all true dragon essence blood is the same. He, the Xuan beasts definitely think that Long Chen's true dragon essence blood is just from an ordinary true dragon and unable to threaten them, or they would have long since attacked him with their full power, said Yan Nanshan with a smile. Perhaps the Xuan beasts had misjudged Long Chen. Now, it was too late to regret that mistake. True dragon essence blood was an astonishing treasure to the Xuan beasts. But of course it wasn't important to the point that they would be willing to go to war with the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, if they had known earlier that Long Chen's true dragon essence blood came from such a shocking figure, then it would be difficult to say. Suddenly, another explosive sound came from the battlefield. Xiang Yanfei's runes lit up, and a door appeared on top of his forehead, opening and revealing a violet figure that flew at Long Chen. Chapter 1783 Yuan Spirits Come Out Translator Born to be it's his Yuan Spirit. Startled cries rang out. 
the two of them had been fighting evenly without either side being able to gain an advantage. So Xiang Yunfei took out his Yuan spirit. A cultivator's Yuan spirit was incredibly important. It wouldn't be taken out to fight so easily. If the Yuan spirit was harmed, the body might just wither and die. Furthermore, there were many specialized weapons and poisons targeted toward Yuan spirits. If struck, they would definitely die. There wouldn't even be a chance to save them. However, Xiang Yunfei had taken out his Yuan spirit far too lightly now. That stunned everyone. Are they really at that point already? Xiang Yunfei's Yuan spirit came flying out and grew until it was the exact same as his true body. Except it was violet. It smashed a fist at Long Chen. Just before its fist could strike Long Chen, a hand came out of Long Chen's forehead and blocked it. You want to fight with Yuan spirits? All right, let's go. Xiang Yunfei was forced back by the hand coming out of Long Chen's head. Long Chen's Yuan spirit also flew out, smashing a fist at Xiang Yunfei. Their two true bodies continued to clash with their divine weapons, but now their two Yuan spirits had also appeared, flying above them and starting a berserk battle. How did they manage to do this? People's jaws dropped. How was it that the two of them were able to split their attention to fight so intensely with both their true bodies and Yuan spirits? Just how powerful were their Yuan spirits? When most experts used their Yuan spirits to fight, they would at most risk letting it go out for one attack and then retreat. It was used for sneak attacks and catching people off guard. If they managed to kill their target, then good. If they didn't, then they would immediately pull their Yuan spirit back. Only Yuan spirits belonging to those on the level of Empyreans were able to leave the body to fight. But even for the absolute majority of Empyreans, their Yuan spirits would only be used to assist their attacks. No one dared to directly summon their Yuan spirit to fight for them. That was too dangerous. How did they manage to make their Yuan spirits so condensed? They don't even look like Yuan spirits. Just how many primordial runes did they condense exclaimed an Empyrean. He felt like he had gone insane. Why was it that there was such a huge difference between two Empyreans? Normal Empyreans had a Yuan spirit that was a foot tall, any larger, and it wouldn't be solid enough. As for others, their Yuan spirits were even weaker. Yet, both Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei had Yuan spirits almost identical to their true bodies. If it weren't for the green and violet light coming from them, the spectators wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei's true bodies continued to fight all out on the ground, causing the land to continuously deform. Splitting their attention to have their Yuan spirits fight for them didn't affect the power of their true bodies at all. In the sky, there was another Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei repeatedly clashing with their bare hands. Because they were so fast, all people saw were after images of their punches and kicks. The experts watching were struck dumb. Just what kind of monsters were these two? A punch of their Yuan spirits could break the sky. A kick could shatter the earth. Each of their exchanges caused the world to tremble. It felt like a divine drum was beating loudly, shaking their hearts. Too terrifying their monsters. People's eyes went from the sky to the ground and back. They didn't even know if they should be watching the fight between the Yuan spirits or their true bodies. If one of their true bodies was defeated, their physical body would be destroyed. If their Yuan spirit was defeated, their soul would dissipate. Either way, they would definitely die. However, people could only keep track of one fight, so their eyes were moving so much that they couldn't keep track. They didn't dare to use their spiritual strength to watch. The attacks were so powerful that the backlash might just take their lives. As everyone was dazzled and befuddled by this fight, even the weaker people present who felt a stabbing pain just by watching refused to leave. They bitterly endured because they might not ever see such a fight in their lifetimes. They couldn't miss this chance. Long Chen, the power of your physical body isn't bad. You're actually able to fight against me. But there's no way that your Yuan spirit is my match. Since you're dying today, I'll let you understand. Do you know just how many primordial runes I condensed when I stepped into soul transformation? Xiang Yunfei began to shout as he fought. He was clearly confident in his Yuan spirit. It was true that his Yuan spirit was incredibly powerful. Long Chen ignored him. He continued to fight, neither at a disadvantage or advantage. 
Xiang Yanfei was too powerful for him to be careless. Haha, <laughs> you don't even have the courage to speak? Are you afraid of despair? All right, I'll tell you so you can understand the difference between us. I condense a total of... Boom. Xiang Yanfei's violet light surged like a wild tsunami as the power of his Yuan spirit reached a peak. Comma 370 million primordial runes. Now, do you know the difference between us? Xiang Yanfei shouted along with the surge in the power of his Yuan spirit. Violet light soared into the sky. His voice resounded through heaven and earth, and every person's jaw dropped. How is that even possible? How could he have so many primordial runes? I only had 1,700. I also only had 1,300. That's crazy. All the Empyreans present felt like they had just been given a fatal blow. They couldn't believe their ears. This difference was definitely enough to cause despair. Even Yan Nanshan and the others couldn't help nodding along. Having 370 million primordial runes truly was rarely seen in this world. No wonder he was so confident. Xiang Yanfei no longer held back after revealing how many primordial runes he had. He became a blazing violet sun who blinded others, and a fist smashed mercilessly toward Long Chen in the air. He was planning on winning with this one punch. 370 million? Why didn't you say so earlier? Long Chen laughed and green scales suddenly covered his body. He actually used the green dragon battle armor with his Yuan spirit. Bang! Violet light exploded. It was like a violet sea had exploded in the air. Heavens! Xiang Yanfei's spiritual strength is so great. He's actually able to cause such a phenomenon. No. Xiang Yanfei's arm has been broken. An Empyrean with runes in his eyes suddenly cried out. Clearly, he was using a magical art that allowed him to see the battle more clearly than others. Heavens, it's true. Xiang Yanfei's arm has vanished. At this time, the other Empyreans also managed to see the truth. However, violet light was still blinding the others. People weaker than Empyreans were unable to see what was going on. Boom. Another explosive sound and a wave of violet light erupted. Xiang Yanfei let out a furious roar. Suddenly, the violet light filling the sky vanished, and Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit was fleeing back toward its true body, both its arms gone. Furthermore, it was now a whole level dimmer than it had been before. It no longer looked as mighty as before Novaloon.com Long Chen's Yuan spirit suddenly chased after it, smashing out another fist. 370 million primordial runes only has this much power? Are you sure you weren't bragging a bit? Long Chen's sneer immediately drew countless people's attention. Could it be that Xiang Yanfei really had been bragging and didn't have that many primordial runes? He had only said this to frighten and shake Long Chen? Boom. The arms of Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit regrew, and he crossed them in front of himself to block Long Chen's fist. As a result, his new arms exploded as well, transforming into violet mist. Xiang Yanfei shouldn't be lying. His powerful Yuan spirit is able to recover quickly, so it seems like it's on that level, or just one of Long Chen's attacks would have destroyed it, deduced one expert. If he's not lying, then is Long Chen lying? He lied about how many primordial runes he had. When did Long Chen ever say how many primordial runes he had? I don't recall such a thing. Everyone came to a sudden understanding. Long Chen truly hadn't replied with the number of primordial runes he possessed. Then are you saying, Long Chen had even more primordial runes than Xiang Yanfei? Heavens, just kill me. I feel like I'm going insane. One of the Empyreans punched himself. A Yuan spirit condensed of 370 million primordial runes was actually beaten into a fleeing rat by Long Chen. Then just how many primordial runes did Long Chen possess? Even Di Long and his wife, as well as the other Nether Passage elders, were filled with disbelief. There was only one possibility for Long Chen's Yuan spirit to be able to crush Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit so easily. He had to have at least double the number of primordial runes as Xiang Yanfei, or such a thing was impossible. A battle of Yuan spirits was different from other fights. If both Yuan spirits were relatively equally matched, then winning would require technique and combat experience. However, if the difference between the Yuan spirits was too great, then the weaker one would be unable to pose a fatal threat to the stronger one. 
The reason Long Chen hadn't used his full power from the start was because he had been testing Xiang Yanfei's power. As a result, Xiang Yanfei thought that this was all the power Long Chen had and went all out. This calculated risk of his ended up backfiring magnificently. Long Chen defeated Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit in just three attacks. Amongst the ancient races, disciples wouldn't possibly possess such powerful Yuan spirits. Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit was the result of a mutation. Such a terrifying Yuan spirit had never appeared in the history of the ancient races. In truth, this trump card of Xiang Yanfei's had been kept secret to the point that the outer world didn't know about it. He had been planning on using this trump card to kill Long Chen and prove to the world that the ancient race's Yuan spirits were also powerful and even stronger than the human race's Yuan spirits. Unfortunately, he was forced to flee miserably, and his Yuan spirit was on the verge of crumbling. Xiang Yanfei formed hand seals, and his Yuan spirit transformed into a ray of light that returned to his true body. Long Chen snorted and also recalled his Yuan spirit. A wild surge of energy erupted from Evil Moon. Boom. Xiang Yanfei, who had been evenly matched with Long Chen, was suddenly blown away. Coughing up blood. Chapter 1784 Unexpected Paragon Art Translator. Born to be Boom. Xiang Yanfei was blown away. Due to their fighting, the ground around them had sunk, and they were in a huge hole. Hence, Xiang Yanfei crashed through the ground and then reappeared out on the surface. Xiang Yanfei had just appeared above ground again when lightning flashed around Long Chen. He seemed to teleport, appearing right where Xiang Yanfei was flying toward. He slashed his saber. Xiang Yanfei hastily blocked with his violet bone spear, and as a result, he smashed into the ground once more. The ground was like a calm lake that had been struck by a meteorite. A huge wave of earth spread. After sending Xiang Yanfei into the ground, Long Chen followed. Diving like a goshawk at a rabbit, the ground bulged and exploded over and over again. Cracks spread far into the distance as they began to fight underground. How terrifying. This is practically an apocalyptic battle. Long Chen truly is worthy of the name of the Eastern Wastelands Demon King. Who can possibly block him? No wonder he's called the Eastern Madman. If I had this kind of power, I could also be crazy. People could only discuss what was going on based on the cracks and bulges appearing on the ground. With Nether Passage experts protecting them, they didn't need to worry about their safety. They were watching the battle with anticipation. This was a glorious moment, as well as the best gossip to discuss in the future. Although they couldn't see the two of them, they could sense their terrifying power. They were constantly wrecking the ground. This Long Chen's power has exceeded my expectations. The youngsters these days really do hide their power well, said one of the Grand Elders with a faint smile. The power of Long Chen's Yuan spirit was something that even they had never seen before. However, misjudging him like this was a pleasant surprise. After all, he was still a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hu Jinying was naturally the most excited one. She had always viewed Long Chen as her own child. Although the main reason for this at the start had been her relationship with the old man, later she had truly started to like this daring and caring child. As for why she had to constantly put him in his place, that was because his guts were too big, and she had to before he killed himself. She had to beat this child, but of course, when the time for rewards came, she would first think of him. Suddenly, the ground exploded. Long Chen and Xiang Yanfei's figures appeared in the sky again. Xiang Yanfei was covered in blood. He looked like he was in a miserable state, but there was no panic in his eyes. As for Long Chen, he also had some blood stains on him. It was just unknown if this blood was his or Xiang Yanfei's. Long Chen was calm. Evil Moon rested on his shoulder once more as he looked at Xiang Yanfei. He looked unfathomable. The two of them had suddenly stopped fighting. However, the spectators were stunned to find that even after such an intense battle, their auras hadn't dropped at all. The two of them were clearly still in their peak condition after all that. Monsters. Absolute monsters. The so-called heavenly geniuses present had completely lost the foundation of their pride. In front of Long Chen and Xiang Yanfei, who would dare to call themselves a genius? Even Yi Lingxian, who had just climbed the Venerate platform was completely convinced of her inferiority. 
Long Chen's previous words about the Venerate platform and how he refused to climb it had made her think that he was worried about losing face. Only now did she find how laughable this guess was. With Long Chen's power, that broken down Venerate platform was truly unable to entice him. True experts disdained showing themselves off. When she compared herself to Long Chen, she found that her thinking and actions appeared immature. Long Chen was a true expert, someone who disdained making a show to prove themselves. His height was something she could only look up to. The facts prove that trying to be a badass without a corresponding power makes you a dumbass. If you hadn't borrowed power from your ancestors just now, there would no longer be a Xiang Yunfei in this world, said Long Chen indifferently. HMPH. My ancestors' power is my power. If you don't have that power, it's just because your ancestors were garbage, sneered Xiang Yunfei. He was a bit angry and a bit insulted. He had thought that his unrivaled Yuan spirit would be able to make him win in one go. Due to the defeat of his Yuan spirit, Long Chen had managed to get an advantage over him. In their underground fight, Xiang Yunfei had also been forced to use a bit of forbidden power to recover from his disadvantage. Thinking of his previous words, especially when he bragged about how he had 370 million primordial runes, Xiang Yunfei felt like he had truly slapped himself loudly this time. That's right, as long as it's a power you can use, it's your power. I'm not mocking you for borrowing power. I'm just mocking you for trying to be a badass, said Long Chen indifferently. Xiang Yunfei was extremely arrogant, and that was precisely the kind of person that Long Chen liked to slap in the face. Having heard Xiang Yunfei repeatedly say that he would kill him, Long Chen was naturally angered. He felt refreshed to see Xiang Yunfei's current expression. Long Chen, I admit that you're very powerful. Even the power of your Yuan spirit exceeded my expectations. However, if you think that you can defeat me because of that, I can only say that you're too naive. The power of the ancient races isn't something you can comprehend. Xiang Yunfei formed a hand seal, and his manifestation quickly spread, covering this entire space. The entire battlefield was infected by his violet light. This is, the experts were struck dumb by this move. Just how was it possible for a technique to cover the entire battlefield with a manifestation? They had never seen such a divine ability or magical art that covered such an area and with such power. This violet light covered them as well. All these geniuses, whether they were celestials or empyreans, suddenly found that they could no longer sense the heavenly deos. Their heavenly Tao energy was instantly stripped away. It was like they had been crippled. What kind of power is this? Why is it capable of stripping away our heavenly Tao energy? To celestials and empyreans who relied on heavenly Tao energy, this sudden sensation filled them with fear and unease. Ha 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 ha. Xiang Yunfei laughed as the violet light coming from him grew stronger. Have none of you heard of a certain kind of energy that is on the same level as heavenly Tao energy? Is. Is he talking about Paragon Arts? Cried an old expert with shock. Paragon Arts? Aren't those things that only Nether Passage experts can use? Is he not worried about his body exploding from the power? Only a very small portion of the old experts here had even heard of Paragon Arts. That was because practically everyone here was only qualified to learn magical arts and battle skills. They weren't even qualified to touch Paragon Arts. All magical arts relied on using the energy of the world to activate, which was the power of the heavenly deos. They were activated within the scope of the heavenly deos. To put it another way, magical arts required the approval of the heavenly deos to be activated. However, paragon arts were different because they were so powerful that they were on the same level as the heavenly deos. They didn't need to be part of the heavenly deos. Some magical arts clashed with heavenly Tao energy and their power could be affected by that. It would require clearing an area of your heavenly Tao energy so you could activate the magical art. Now though, all the heavenly Tao energy present had been forced away. Not even Empyreans could sense the heavenly Deos any longer, which resulted in panic. Hu Jinying's expression finally changed. Amongst everyone present, only Nether Passage experts truly understood how terrifying Paragon Arts were. Although Xiang Yunfei was only in the Soul Transformation Realm and couldn't possibly unleash the full power of a Paragon Art, its power would still make him unrivaled in the same realm. 
Now she knew why Xiang Yanfei was so confident as to challenge Long Chen to a life and death match. He knew that Long Chen didn't have a paragon art. Paragon arts would leave a particular aura around the user, an aura that only people who also had paragon arts could sense. It formed a certain kind of resonance. So Xiang Yanfei had clearly sensed that Long Chen possessed no such aura. Grand Uncle Master, Hu Jinying turned to Yan Nanshan. Compared to a paragon art, any magical art Long Chen could use would be garbage. Long Chen would definitely die. What are you panicking over? Can't you see that Long Chen is still calm? He definitely still has trump cards left. But this Xiang Yanfei really is extraordinary. His power is even greater than we expected. Long Chen might be able to draw with him, but I doubt he can defeat him. The result of this battle was decided from the start. It's just a shame that Long Chen doesn't have any paragon arts, or there might be the slightest bit of hope, sighed Yan Nanshan. Suddenly, cracks appeared in Xiang Yanfei's violet world. A rush of desolate air poured out of those cracks. The world became still. Chapter 1785 Mammoth Primordial Spirit Beasts Translator Born to be violet light filled the world, and it was like another world's energy had replaced this world's energy. Cracking sounds rang out like the world was about to shatter. This was a horrifying phenomenon. Paragon arts. Just what are they? How can they be so terrifying? Just this aura is making it impossible for me to move. King King was pale, her voice shuddering as she cried. King King, Xin Li, Meng Fei, and the other disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were staring at this phenomenon in shock. This kind of power made them feel despair. They couldn't even form a desire to fight back. Paragon arts have surpassed the existence known as magical arts. They are unrivaled arts, capable of breaking 10,000 magical arts, resulting in them being called paragon arts. Normally, only nether passage experts can use them because their life and death energy is also another kind of energy outside heavenly Tao energy. They can unleash their life and death domain and their paragon art within that domain. However, Xiang Yanfei has used some unknown methods to create his own domain that was capable of holding a paragon art. He really is frightening, said Yi Lingxin. As an independent cultivator, Yi Lingxin had studied a vast variety of things. She had no teacher, so she had to grope around in the dark herself. Hence, she had some superficial understanding of paragon arts. Then a senior apprentice brother Long Chen going to be defeated asked King King while clenching Yi Lingxian's hand tightly. She almost seemed to be praying to Yi Lingxian for Long Chen's victory. In her eyes, Yi Lingxian was also a peerless expert. As long as she said that Long Chen would win, he would definitely win. However, Yi Lingxian didn't reply. She had no way to reply. She knew that she couldn't give the reply that King King wanted. In front of a paragon art, any magical art was useless. If Long Chen wanted to defeat this paragon art, he would need to use his own paragon art. Yi Lingxian was curious though. She saw that Long Chen wasn't moving at all as Xiang Yanfei used his paragon art. He didn't make any move to stop Xiang Yanfei. A paragon art was terrifying, but its energy requirements were even greater than magical arts, and it would take a long time to activate. If Long Chen attacked with full force, there would be at least some chance he could interrupt Xiang Yanfei. However, he was just calmly watching with his saber on his shoulder. Just the pressure when Xiang Yanfei activated his paragon art was enough to make the experts present feel like their souls were about to be squeezed out of their bodies. Long Chen, have you given up? Do you want to beg for your life? I'd like to see you struggling on your deathbed. Xiang Yanfei's voice resounded throughout his domain. His voice was like the edict of a god. Sorry, I might have to disappoint you. With your current power, even if you cultivated another 10,000 years, you wouldn't be able to make me struggle on my deathbed, said Long Chen indifferently. His calm voice was like he didn't care at all about what was happening before him. That stunned people. Could it be that Long Chen also had a paragon art? Otherwise, why would he be so confident? Ignorant fool. Today I'll show you why a paragon art is called a paragon art and what kind of power it represents. Xiang Yanfei's hand seal suddenly changed. Violet pillars condensed from the north, east, south, west, and also from above, below, left, 
and right of Xiang Yanfei. Either purple pillars of light intersected at Xiang Yanfei and merged together. The light around Xiang Yanfei suddenly surged into the sky, so brightly that people had to turn away. The violet heavenly bone spear stabbed into the void, causing a powerful explosion. A large hole actually appeared in the void. A chain reaction started following that hole. The rest of the void began to explode. Come out, mammoth primordial spirit beasts. Xiang Yanfei shouted. Violet figures began to fly out of the void and at Long Chen. Each of them was a barbarian mammoth the size of a mountain. They roared furiously as they charged. Heavens, what is this? Each of these barbarian mammoths possessed a shocking aura. Most importantly, they looked like they were alive. Violet light lingered around them, making them look like demons out of nightmares. This is the barbarian mammoth race's paragon art. They actually managed to preserve it, and by offering it to their ancestral spirits, there's no sign of decay. This move is definitely powerful. Even a nether passage expert would have their hands tied if they didn't use a paragon art against it, said one of the grand elders. He recognized this paragon art. However, his paragon art wasn't activated entirely by himself. The majority of it was backed by his ancestral power, or there's no way he could activate it. Furthermore, the damage to his Yuan spirit has now caused this move to be weaker than it should be, said Yan Nanshan. Even so, a paragon art is a paragon art. No magical art can block it. Below the nether passage realm, no one can receive it. Let's see what Long Chen does. The other grand elder smiled faintly. In the face of this flood of violet barbarian mammoths, Long Chen's gaze became sharp. He sensed their power. Split the heavens five. Boom. Evil Moon slashed down onto one of them. That barbarian mammoth was blown to smithereens and it transformed into violet light that dissipated. However, Long Chen's expression became gloomier. Although he had killed one, the power behind his attack had been completely cancelled out by it. He wasn't able to destroy more than one with this attack. It's useless. The mammoth primordial spirit beasts that I've summoned come from another world. They are condensed of a different world's laws. Laws that are completely different from the martial heaven continent. They are under the control of my Aurora world, and even if they die, they will return there and be recondensed into new mammoth primordial spirit beasts. In other words, I have an endless number of them. Just wait for your death in despair. Xiang Yanfei laughed while holding his violet heavenly bone spear. Violet Qi continued to flow around him and merge into his head. This paragon art was not only being used by him to fight, but it was also rapidly nourishing his Yuan spirit. Long Chen repeatedly slashed Evil Moon. He cut down the mammoth primordial spirit beasts one by one. However, it was just as Xiang Yanfei said. They were endless. Each of them was incredibly powerful. On an individual scale, each one wasn't much weaker than Xiang Yanfei himself. After killing hundreds of them, Long Chen felt his arms grow a bit tired. The backlashes from the various exchanges were starting to add up. Each time he killed one. There was a kind of self-detonation power that made his head hurt. An endless tide of mammoth primordial spirit beasts crazily attacked Long Chen. They drowned him in their midst. Not good. Long Chen's about to be defeated. Cries rang out. Most of the experts present were human. Long Chen's fight with Xiang Yanfei was a competition between a heavenly genius from the human race and one from the ancient races. Hence, the majority of them wished for Long Chen to win. However, Submerged by so many mammoth primordial spirit beasts, Long Chen seemed to have lost the ability to resist. Their hearts sank. Ha ha ha. So his calm was all an act. I actually thought that he had some ability, sneered an ancient race expert. Di Long and his wife were also pleased by this, especially his wife. She hated Long Chen to the bone. Seeing him in danger of losing his life, she suddenly shouted, Xiang Yanfei. I hope you won't immediately kill him. Slowly torment him to death. Making him beg for death. Di Xin's mother's voice gave everyone a chill. Right now, the one who hated Long Chen the most was her. Sorry, this grand aspiration is something you will never be able to achieve in your lifetime. Suddenly, a crystal clear voice rang out. What startled cries rang out. That voice was Long Chen's. And it was still calm. That calmness made them concentrate once more at the center of the battlefield. 
Consecutive explosions suddenly erupted. The mammoth primordial spirit beasts that had been clumped there were sent flying. A five-colored divine ring revealed itself. It was rapidly spinning, and the violet light of this world was being forced apart. At the same time, a terrifying will rose. It was like a slumbering battle god had awoken. Long Chen's divine ring spun faster and faster, and that terrifying will also grew. It was as though there were sharp teeth on the divine ring, and it cut through this world of Xiang Yanfei's. That will shook the experts. It was like they were seeing the rebirth of a battle god, making them have an urge to prostrate themselves. Five colored light surrounded the space around Long Chen. The mammoth primordial spirit beasts were all forced back by this light and unable to injure him. A paragon art is only this? Did you think this was enough to defeat me? It's too weak. I'll show you how I destroy this garbage thing of yours without a paragon art. Boom. A will that Long Chen had been suppressing deep within his soul for a long time instantly erupted. Chapter 1786 Divine Ring Subdues All Deos Translator Born to be a powerful will surged out of Long Chen. His divine ring unleashed 10,000 divine swords that spread through Xiang Yunfei's violet world. The divine ring tore through this world. The original violet world was pushed back, replaced with the light of the divine ring. As the violet light surrounding Long Chen dissipated, the heavenly Tao energy slowly returned. Under Long Chen's suppression, it could only submit obediently. The world now looked very bizarre because the void had been torn apart. On one side was a normal world with sunshine. The space behind Long Chen was like a blazing sun. On Xiang Yunfei's side, the violet world still remained. The violet light was currently clashing with Long Chen's world. What a terrifying will. Is it really possible to make the heavens submit with just your will? Just what kind of cultivation technique does Long Chen practice? Even the grand elders were stunned. They were the most experienced people and saw that Long Chen was only using his will to force back Xiang Yunfei's paragon art. This kind of energy had no substance, yet he managed to tear apart Xiang Yunfei's paragon art. This was absolutely stunning. The divine ring behind Long Chen was spinning so quickly that it looked like it was still. However, the world's energy was currently surging toward Long Chen. It was completely under his control. For a moment, everything was silent. Everyone was simply stunned, as two different worlds were currently present. Your paragon art is actually a spatial art. It creates a spatial channel between the martial heaven continent and a foreign world's energy. However, the martial heaven continent has its own laws, so you had no choice but to create your own spatial domain that forced back the continent's laws so that it wouldn't disturb your foreign world's energy. That truly is an amazing power. However, it's not enough to kill me. If that's all the power you have, you'll definitely die today. Long Chen suddenly shot after Xiang Yunfei, going on a fence for the first time in a while. He had essentially finished testing the power of Xiang Yunfei's paragon art. Ha ha ha, what a joke. Even if you can escape the bindings of my paragon art. So what? Can you stop my endless mammoth primordial spirit beasts? Sneered Xiang Yunfei. Those mammoth primordial spirit beasts once more charged toward Long Chen. However, this time there were clear ripples in space wherever they passed. It was different from before. Long Chen had interrupted the violet world, making it so that these mammoth primordial spirit beasts were restricted by the martial heaven continent. Their power and speed had dropped. Even so, there were millions of them, and their power was not to be underestimated. Suddenly, an angry roar shook the sky. A 30,000 meter lightning dragon appeared behind Long Chen. As lightning runes scattered through the air, it was like millions of lightning snowflakes were falling. Li Long had just appeared when every nether passage expert's expression changed. They all felt a chill. This aura, the aura of divine lightning. How is that possible? Only the nether passage experts knew this familiar aura. When they had advanced to the nether passage realm. They had experienced a lightning tribulation where divine lightning had appeared. They would never be able to forget its aura. Although there is very little divine energy inside it, it is definitely the power of divine lightning. This kind of divine lightning is actually under the control of a human. It's incomprehensible, said a grand elder. He had just spoken when a wave of dragon breath surged out, annihilating the mammoth primordial spirit beasts. 
Those mammoth primordial spirit beasts are condensed of yuan spiritual energy and have taken the shape of ancestral souls that have been sacrificed. This paragon art is essentially a condensation of his whole race's power. However, Xiang Yunfei is unlucky. Divine lightning is a perfect counter to them. Now it's difficult to say who will win, said Yan Nanshan. At the start, they had thought that Long Chen would lose or at the most draw. However, Long Chen could unexpectedly control divine lightning. Li Long's dragon breath annihilated thousands of the mammoth primordial spirit beasts, causing Xiang Yunfei's expression to change. But then he smiled coldly. This thunder force isn't part of your own power. It's completely inconsistent with your spiritual fluctuations. In other words, this thunder force is a masterless entity that you can only control for a moment. Once its ability runs out, what will you use to fight against me? At that time, the one to die will be you. After saying that, Xiang Yunfei retreated, refusing to face Long Chen directly. The mammoth primordial spirit beasts continued to surge out of his violet world and attack Long Chen. What sharp vision. That lightning dragon has its own spiritual fluctuations. It truly isn't one with Long Chen. With Xiang Yunfei's reminder, people finally saw some clues. Li Long's spiritual fluctuations were naturally different from Long Chen's. He hadn't placed a slave mark on it, so Li Long had its own thoughts. Their souls weren't from the same source, so when they were fighting individually, their spiritual fluctuations were different. In that case, the only possibility as to why Long Chen was able to control this lightning dragon was because it was condensed of some special energy. Once that energy ran out, it would vanish. So Xiang Yunfei's deductive abilities were truly worthy of a genius. Even the Nether Passage experts felt that he was admirable for being able to see the crux of the problem so quickly. Seeing Xiang Yunfei actually retreat and want to fight a battle of attrition with him, Long Chen couldn't help smiling contemptuously. He didn't try to attack Xiang Yunfei. Instead, he jumped on Lai Long's head and sent it charging through the mammoth primordial spirit beasts. The current Lai Long had fully refined the divine lightning Long Chen had managed to preserve from his tribulation. Its entire body's energy had already gone from five-colored lightning to divine lightning. The reason divine lightning was called divine was because it contained a kind of berserk divine energy that made it the emperor of all lightning. Its destructive power was astonishing. For a while now, Long Chen had been reserving Lai Long as a final trump card. Now that the power of divine lightning revealed itself, it showed its terror. It had to be known that Xiang Yunfei's mammoth primordial spirit beasts were extremely powerful even in their current state. Each of them was essentially equivalent to an Empyrean. For millions of them to attack a single person, who could possibly block them? Even Long Chen wouldn't be able to last for long before getting worn down. As for Xiang Yunfei's paragon art, he had opened a channel to another world with an endless torrent of mammoth primordial spirit beasts pouring forth. Without Lai Long, Long Chen would have lost. However, he did have Lai Long, and it was annihilating the mammoth primordial spirit beasts like a tiger amongst sheep. In front of Lai Long, those mammoth primordial spirit beasts would die as soon as they were touched. It was just that there were so many of them that Lai Long couldn't even kill them all. Long Chen my Aurora world has as many mammoth primordial spirit beasts as I want. Do you think you can exhaust me? Sneered Xiang Yunfei. Do you see me paying attention to you? Long Chen shook his head disdainfully, lazily resting Evil Moon on his shoulder. He knew that Xiang Yunfei was just bragging. Even if Xiang Yunfei was connected to another world, he needed to exhaust his energy to maintain that connection. There was no way his energy was limitless. However, most likely due to the bloodline connection, the energy cost was rather low for him, but sooner or later, he would run out of it. Long Chen had summoned his full power divine ring and was fully unleashing his will to force the heavens to give him their energy. His energy was being replenished by the heavenly deos, so he wasn't worried about running out of energy. He was also giving energy to Lai Long, so as long as Lai Long didn't unleash any large moves. It was also able to maintain an equilibrium. Since Xiang Yunfei wanted to compete this way, Long Chen wouldn't mind exhausting him to death. After a while, he decided to sit down on Lai Long and close his eyes to meditate. 
Lai Long was constantly killing the mammoth primordial spirit beasts, and neither Long Chen nor Xiang Yanfei was in danger. The battlefield seemed to relax. The spectators also had a chance to breathe. They had almost forgotten to breathe before this. Only now did many people realize that they were covered in sweat. Long Chen's a true expert. Those rumors were definitely spread to intentionally slander him and break our unity exactly. Those people's motives were clearly malicious. They were so shameless. Worst of all, we actually believed them. During this time, rumors were abundant, saying Long Chen had cheated to get first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. He had tricked his way into obtaining the reward. He had colluded with the original Devil race. His relationship with the spirit world was unclear, etc. In any case, all kinds of news painted him in a negative light. Amidst those rumors, Long Chen had never come out to explain himself or prove anything, causing countless people to feel like he was guilty. Today, even though he still didn't rely on words to explain himself, the people present believed that those rumors were spread to intentionally harm him. At the same time, they understood Long Chen as a person and knew why he wouldn't explain himself. He disdained to do so. During this battle, he had shown himself to keep his promises, to treat death as a return home, and to dominate all other geniuses. This impression struck deep into people's souls. Would such a person really explain himself to others? That wasn't part of his character. It was precisely this trait that others had used against him. Thinking about it made them even angrier. Fuck. If anyone says anything bad about Long Chen again, I'll directly slap them to death. One expert's cold snort made an ancient race expert's expression twitch, but they didn't dare to say anything in the end. Chapter 1787 Enduring a Divine Items My Translator Born to be Long Chen sat atop Lai Long's head as it slaughtered the mammoth primordial spirit beasts. That appearance of his made it seem like he didn't sense any danger. Lai Long was unstoppable. The mammoth primordial spirit beasts were unable to touch it. As for Xiang Yanfei, he wasn't doing anything either. He was floating in midair, violet light condensing toward him. This fool Long Chen, why doesn't he attack Xiang Yanfei? Can he not see that Xiang Yanfei is borrowing energy from another world to heal his Yuan spirit? Demanded Ku Jinying. Long Chen was just sitting on Lai Long cross-legged, allowing it to kill its prey. He himself seemed to be meditating. It was clear that Xiang Yanfei had suffered a major loss in their previous contest of Yuan spirits. The damage to a Yuan spirit was serious, and he was currently trying to recover. However, Long Chen acted like he didn't see it, instead fighting a battle of attrition. This was unwise in Ku Jinying's eyes. She wasn't quite able to understand it. Long Chen normally had such sharp vision. If he attacked Xiang Yanfei at this time, he would definitely have an absolute advantage. So why didn't he? It seems he really is meditating. What is he doing? Has he gone crazy? Asked a grand elder. Long Chen's hands were resting on his knees. His thumb touched his third finger's second joint, a so-called promoter hand seal. It was used for calculations and extrapolation. It made a person's mind clearer and more flexible. It was a meditative seal for comprehension. Is he trying to calculate where Xiang Yanfei's spatial nodes are? That's impossible, said another grand elder. If he could calculate where Xiang Yanfei's spatial nodes were, he could break this paragon art. But that was impossible, let alone Long Chen. Even these grand elders that had been alive for countless years wouldn't be able to calculate where the spatial nodes were in a short time. It would take them at least several days. By that time, it would be too late. You're overestimating Long Chen. Based on my understanding of him, he definitely wouldn't waste any effort on that, said Ku Jinying. No one knew what Long Chen was thinking, but they all sensed that the fluctuations of Xiang Yanfei's Yuan spirit were recovering rapidly. Once he was fully recovered, Long Chen's advantage over him would vanish. Everything from the fight before would be wasted. Lai Long's row resounded through the air. It was completely dominating the mammoth primordial spirit beasts. Six hours passed like this, with Long Chen still meditating. As for Xiang Yanfei, his Yuan spirit grew ever stronger. Even people who hadn't realized it at the beginning knew that Xiang Yanfei would soon return to his peak state. Quite a few people were worried for Long Chen. King King wanted to shout at him, 
but Ji Lingxian stopped her because it was useless. The roaring of the lightning dragon and the mammoth primordial spirit beasts completely drowned out the outside world sounds. Unless you had the power of a nether passage expert, it was impossible to disturb the two of them. Shouting would be useless, and they would even have to endure the mocking of the ancient race experts. Ha 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 ha. Suddenly, Xiang Yunfei laughed, startling everyone. Long Chen, you idiot. You've fallen for it. My battle of attrition with you was just to gain more time to recover. I admit that your Yuan spirit is more powerful than mine, but you didn't even know how to take advantage of that to fight me. If you had, perhaps you would have had some chance of defeating me, but now you've missed it. You won't get another chance again. Xiang Yunfei's aura had completely recovered, stunning others. It had to be known that for normal people, an injury to their Yuan spirit would take months if not years to recover from. However, Xiang Yunfei had recovered in such a short amount of time. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. A lotus image flashed in the depths of his eyes, but it slowly faded. Oh, is that so? It seems you're ready to have an open fight with me. Long Chen stood up, raising Evil Moon onto his shoulder. Long Chen, I really dislike this expressionless face of yours. Hopefully when I cut off your head, you can still maintain that expression, said Xiang Yunfei coldly. Long Chen had maintained an indifferent expression the entire time, that possessed its own killing power. He never revealed the shock, the anger, the fear, and the panic that Xiang Yunfei wanted to see. It made Xiang Yunfei feel like each time he was speaking, Long Chen was treating him like an idiot. Maybe you should use the time spent speaking on fighting. I see a dark shadow on your face today. That's a sign a great calamity is about to befall you. You should be careful, said Long Chen. Xiang Yunfei had fully recovered, but Long Chen was fearless because he was in his peak state the entire time. Lai Long was also still in its peak condition. Since you want to die sooner, fine. The violet light behind Xiang Yunfei surged. The void collapsed, revealing a large hole in the air. That hole formed a channel from which an endless surge of mammoth primordial spirit beasts came, stunning everyone. There were millions and millions of mammoth primordial spirit beasts. That number was enough to cause despair. Heavens, what kind of move is this? If there weren't nether passage experts standing guard over it, couldn't Xiang Yunfei annihilate Clearwind City all on his own? Xiang Yunfei's current power was definitely great enough for him to crush any expert below the Nether Passage realm. Even if the whole city's people were gathered, they wouldn't be able to stop him. If Long Chen had charged at Xiang Yunfei before, there would have been no chance of Long Chen getting close. More and more of the mammoth primordial spirit beasts would appear, and although the lightning dragon was powerful, there was only one of it. If Long Chen really had charged in, he might have fallen for Xiang Yunfei's trap. Six hours of crazy fighting in an attempt to get close to Xiang Yunfei would exhaust the lightning dragon's energy and his own energy. Once he was weary, Xiang Yunfei would be fully recovered and it would be an instant reversal. Both of them are scheming deeply against the other. But isn't it the same thing now? Long Chen still has to face all these mammoth primordial spirit beasts. That's not the same. Long Chen's only target is Xiang Yunfei. He doesn't need to waste his energy on these mammoth primordial spirit beasts. It was like a sea of mammoth primordial spirit beasts was pouring out of the channel. The battlefield couldn't even contain them all. If there weren't nether passage experts protecting them, the people here would have long since fled for their lives. If even one of those mammoth primordial spirit beasts turned toward them, they would be doomed. There weren't that many people who could block such terrifying monsters. Just at this moment, the lightning dragon beneath Long Chen's feet twisted. It split into 99 lightning dragons. Those 99 lightning dragons formed a river of lightning that charged forward. Those mammoth primordial spirit beasts were annihilated, transforming into violet mist. No matter how many ants pile up, they can't compete with a single dragon. Don't play this meaningless game anymore. The reason I gave you so much time to recover was to kill you. If you don't want to die, then hurry up and bring out your true power. Long Chen stood at up Lai Long's head as it flew straight toward Xiang Yunfei. Arrogant. Let me see what you will use to kill me. Xiang Yunfei's violet heavenly bone spear rumbled. A pair of violet wings appeared on his back. 
I was previously careless and allowed you to harm my Yuan spirit. That made me unable to unleash the full power of the Heavenly Bone Spear. Now, I'll show you just how terrifying this ancestral divine item of the ancient races is. 108 violet runes lit up on the Heavenly Bone Spear. At the same time, the sound of 108 different mammoths rang out. The spear pierced forward, shattering space and blowing apart the restrictions of time. It was like this attack had come from ancient times to reach the current pastime. When they saw Xiang Yunfei's move, Yan Nanchen and the other Grand Elders' expressions changed. It seems the ancient races also have quite a few moves for the Great Era. They've managed to awaken the spirits of their ancestors without anyone being the wiser. Not just one venerate, but 108 venerates. They've bet everything on this era the 108 heavenly bone spears were equivalent to 100 ancestors of the mammoth race. They relied on their ancestors' tusk to maintain their spirits. They actually managed to revive those spirits in this era. In other words, once this era was over, those spirits would completely fade away. The heavenly bone spears would be no more. They had bet everything on this era. However, this bet made it so that Xiang Yunfei was blessed by 108 supreme experts of times long gone. This wasn't just his own power now. Grand Uncle Master. Hu Jinying turned to Yan Nanshan. Don't worry. Long Chen should still have some secrets. Yan Nanshan was staring closely at Long Chen. Or more accurately perhaps he was staring at Evil Moon. Evil Moon. It's up to you. Don't lose face. In the face of this terrifying attack. Long Chen raised Evil Moon and slashed it down. Chapter 1788 Evil Moon vs. Bone Spear Translator Born to be Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up. At the same time, its crescent tip gained a sinister, ghastly glow. That glow was like the faint smirk of a fiend yet also like the glimmer of a dragon's tooth. A hair-raising sinister aura rose. Boom. Long Chen's Evil Moon and Xiang Yunfei's Violet Heavenly Bone Spear smashed into each other. As a result, the world lost all its color and was split into black and violet instead. An explosion of divine might erupted. The void cracked all the way into the clouds. The world was split in two. As black and violet energy clashed, both Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei coughed up blood and were blown back. That exchange had been so powerful that their bodies had almost been destroyed. A huge shockwave spread in every direction, annihilating the mammoth primordial spirit beasts and Lai Long. This wave of energy struck Hu Jinying's domain, and cracks appeared all along her barrier. The experts behind her barrier turned green with fright. If this barrier broke, they would all be killed. Hu Jinying hastily formed hand seals to strengthen her barrier. Only then did she manage to block the power of their exchange. What powerful weapons. Hu Jinying was stunned. She hadn't expected that Long Chen's saber would be so powerful. Up in the sky. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei were still coughing up blood, but Evil Moon and the Heavenly Bone Spear were still clashing. Black and violet light raged so intensely that the world shuddered. The sound of a mammoth and a dragon rose as this violet and black world raged. An image of a mammoth fighting a dragon appeared in people's minds. Flesh and blood flew. Mountains were torn asunder. Kill. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei had just been blown back when they suddenly charged at each other again ignoring their heavy injuries to try killing their opponent. How fierce despite being covered in blood, despite that last exchange almost shattering their bodies, the two of them didn't hesitate to attack again. The two of them clashed together fiercely. The world shuddered and dimmed, but when they separated, people found it difficult to believe their eyes. The instant they exchanged blows, their past injuries had healed. It was like they hadn't been injured in the first place. What's going on? Are my eyes broken? Is what I'm seeing an illusion? The two of them are both scheming. It seems they had the ability to instantly heal but wanted to bait their opponent instead. So they waited until the final moment to heal. Not only is their power far greater, but even in terms of intelligence, they make us seem like fools. Will I even be able to properly cultivate in the future? This blow makes me feel hopeless one person bitterly smiled feeling like all his future prospects were lacking right now. Boom. Evil Moon and the Heavenly Bone Spear suddenly both retreated. Neither one of them was able to suppress the other. Again, Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei once more shouted at the same time, smashing their divine items at each other. 
Both of them were once more bloodied by the collision of divine items. This time, it was even worse, and they tumbled back, their bodies about to collapse. However, when they crawled back up, their injuries were fully healed. People felt like they had to be crazy, and what they were seeing had to be a dream. This made no sense. Xiang Yunfei has his ancestor's blessing and is also connected to the other world, the ancestral tomb of the mammoth race. He can rely on that other world's energy to heal instantly. But Long Chen, how is he doing this? The martial heaven continent has its own laws and heavenly deos, and although a portion of their power has been subdued by Long Chen, it is at most able to replenish the energy he is using up and not enough for him to instantly heal. Furthermore, He's not using any heavenly Tao energy to heal. That truly is curious. Yan Nanshan muttered as he watched the battle. The other grand elders shook their heads. Also uncomprehending. The two of them repeatedly clashed and were blown back. Their flesh was torn asunder. And their bones were broken repeatedly. Even their skulls appeared more than once. However, the two of them didn't even frown. They both knew that only by unleashing the power of their divine items could they give meaningful injuries to their opponents. Long Chen, I have a whole world supporting me. My recovery abilities are limitless. How are you going to compete with me? Xiang Yunfei was hacking up blood, but he instantly healed once more and charged over with the heavenly bone spear. You should think before bragging. The energy from your world is growing weaker and weaker, and your healing is also slowing down. Are you not even aware of it yourself? Sneered Long Chen as he slashed Evil Moon down. With Long Chen's reminder, the experts realized that Xiang Yunfei's violet world was no longer as intense as it had been at the start. It seems this heaven-defying recovery ability isn't something he can keep up for long. It was unknown just how many people had grown jealous of this instant recovery ability. With it, they would essentially have an undying body. However, there was no such thing as an undying body in this world. No matter how heaven-defying an ability was, it had to have limits. Fuck, they're taking advantage of when I haven't fully recovered. Otherwise, I'd have long since broken these damn bones. But don't worry, that heavenly bone spear's runic power is running out. I can definitely exhaust it first. It's just that I also won't have much energy left after exhausting it. So you'll have to win on your own said Evil Moon hatefully. Originally, it had wanted to fully display its power, but it had encountered a tough opponent, irritating it. As long as you can handle the heavenly bone spear, I'm fine. Let's continue exhausting him. I refuse to believe I can't beat him. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a difficult opponent. He looked in the primal chaos space and saw that almost half of the world trees had withered. Clenching his teeth, he continued fighting. Boom, boom, boom. A strange cycle was occurring on the battlefield. The two of them would clash with their divine items, be injured, recover, and repeat. How ruthless the reason experts are experts is because they have to suffer more than others. There are always two sides. Others can only see that they're powerful, but they don't see what they've done to get so powerful. The two of them are already peak heavenly geniuses, but even in a life and death crisis, they are still charging forward without hesitation. As for us, that's the difference. So true experts are all worthy of respect, said Yi Lingxian. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei's battle had greatly affected her. What she had gained and comprehended from their battle far surpassed what she had gained from climbing the Venerate platform. Now, she knew why Long Chen felt disdainful toward the Venerate platform, by his realm. This kind of spiritual test was practically child's play. He might have already gone through something similar years ago. Upon hearing Yi Lingxian's words, the geniuses present fell into thought. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei were both more talented and stronger than them, but they were still putting their lives on the line. So for them, if they wanted to get stronger, what excuse did they have to not put everything on the line? What Yi Lingxian didn't know was that in the future, her words would cause a large batch of geniuses to rise in this group. They cultivated as if their lives depended on it, growing into amazing figures. However, that was only something that happened later. Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei's battle was looping over and over. It was a battle of brute force, and it was intense and bloody. However, it was also monotonous. Their auras are starting to fall. Suddenly, someone shouted. However, 
this was within everyone's expectations. With such a terrifying battle, the exhaustion was great. For their auras to only start falling now was already completely in defiance of the rules of the cultivation world. With their auras falling, their injuries also no longer healed as quickly. In fact, sometimes they weren't even fully healed before they were injured again. However, neither side retreated. They were still charging forward regardless. Seeing them constantly bleeding but still not giving up. Seeing their will so firm, the spectators shook with awe. Some people are fated to become experts, not because of how talented they are or how strong their families, but because they have a determination to get stronger even if they have to die, said a life star expert. He was no longer young, and he sighed sadly. This sigh resonated with countless people. Compared to Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei, their wills were too weak. They couldn't handle hardship. That was the true difference between them. Another explosion and Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei were knocked back once more, tumbling far into the distance. As for Evil Moon and the Heavenly Bone Spear, they stabbed into the ground beside them. The black chi around Evil Moon had vanished, and the violet chi around the Heavenly Bone Spear had also disappeared, revealing its white appearance. Furthermore, even the bone was lacking its original luster. Everyone was deathly silent. They knew that this battle was about to reach its conclusion. Both sides were running out of energy. However, seeing the two of them covered in blood and panting, both friends and foes felt deep veneration for their fearlessness and their determination to never give up. I admit you're very powerful. However, you will still die by my hands. Xiang Yunfei pointed the heavenly bone spear at Long Chen. A contemptuous smile on his face. Chapter 1789 Final Trump Card Translator Born to be Xiang Yunfei might be covered in blood, but he was still completely confident. He looked at Long Chen with contempt. This shocked the experts. Both Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei had reached the point of running on empty, and the power of their divine items had also faded. How was Xiang Yunfei still so confident? Long Chen took a deep breath. After wiping some blood off his mouth, he brushed back his messy hair. How unexpected. It seems you still have a trump card. Ha ha ha. If I didn't have one, would I dare to declare that your life was mine? Xiang Yunfei's manifestation, which had been on the verge of fading, suddenly returned. However, at this moment, his forehead suddenly split open. Violet red blood poured out. That blood condensed into a mammoth shaped rune in the sky. Following that, the vague figure within his manifestation slowly walked out. When that illusory mammoth walked out of his manifestation, an ancient bloodline power manifested, accompanied by an earth-shaking rumbling. That's, as the world rumbled, that illusory figure slowly merged into Xiang Yunfei's body. His aura was immediately refreshed, but it also changed somewhat. It was like he was a different person. Even at this time, he still had a trump card. How terrifying who would have thought that even after fighting to this point, Xiang Yunfei had still been holding back a trump card. He seemed like an undefeatable god now. Are you angry? Do you feel despair? Do you feel that I'm contemptible? This isn't my power, but the ancestral spirit power my mammoth race has sacrificed for generations. My spiritual yuan might be exhausted, but I can still use my bloodline to summon this power to kill you. Do you feel sullen Xiang Yunfei held the heavenly bone spear? Its violet light had returned as if it had been revived as well. Sullen? No. Angry? No. Contempt? Also no. As long as it's a power you can control, then whether you stole it or borrowed it, it's yours. So I don't feel contempt, anger, or sullenness. I just feel like you're stupid. Do you have a pig's memory? Or did you cultivate just to be a poser? Long Chen pulled Evil Moon back into his spiritual space. Evil Moon had used up all its power and needed time to recover. There was no way around this as the Sovereign Seal was still present. The power Evil Moon could store and control was very limited. As for Long Chen himself, his spiritual Yuan was near empty. This fight had truly been exhausting. Even forcing Heaven and Earth to hand over their energy didn't allow him to keep up with the exhaustion. However, his expression was still calm. Ha ha ha. Your mouth's still so tough with death at hand. That's good too. Count yourself lucky to die to my mammoth race's strongest attack. Xiang Yunfei raised the heavenly bone spear. 
A sea of violet light appeared behind him. That sea slowly condensed into a giant violet spear and grew more and more solid. 108 runes appeared on it, the same ones that were on the heavenly bone spear. The only difference was that the giant violet spear was thousands of times larger. All of a sudden, the world grew so quiet that people could only hear their own heartbeats. Their minds were blank as they stared at the giant spear. Was this a world-destroying attack? The mammoth race has bet everything on Xiang Yunfei. They really didn't hold anything back. What a grand gamble, murmured Yan Nanshan. Although it was a gamble, up to now, it had paid off. Xiang Yunfei might be a bit too arrogant, but he possessed all the qualities of an expert. He was confident, determined, and fearless. Such a figure was worthy of the mammoth race betting everything on him. Long Chen slowly formed hand seals in front of him. As he floated into the sky, sacred chanting filled the air. It sounded as if gods and devils were murmuring together. Their voices came from above the very heavens to arrive in this world. Upon hearing this chanting, the grand elders were filled with disbelief. The Nirvana scripture, the world shuddered like it was boiling, and waves of heat surged. After that, divine runes erupted, bringing with them dense flame energy that surged toward Long Chen. Heavens, Long Chen also has a trump card left. They're both monsters. Flame runes continued to appear in the air, gathering toward Long Chen along with intense heat. It was a frightening appearance. Long Chen raised his right hand. A black lotus appeared in it. When that black lotus came into existence, Yan Nanshan couldn't help being shocked. Ranked second on the Earth Flame rankings, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. What? The Black Illusion Dragon Flame? Isn't that the wildest flame? It's impossible for someone to control it. An uproar exploded amongst the experts. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame existed only in legend, let alone seeing it. Even those who knew of it were very rare. Furthermore, the legend said that this flame was too berserk, making it useless. There was no way to control it. Perhaps some people might manage to suppress and subdue the Black Illusion Dragon Flame while it was still in its infant form. However, that didn't have any use because it was like a madman. It would attack its owner at random times and refuse to listen to orders. However, now that this black lotus appeared in Long Chen's hand, even the old monsters that had lived for countless years were struck dumb. Long Chen had completely toppled their understanding of the world. The flame lotus floated into the sky, crazily absorbing flame energy. As the sacred chanting continued, it grew stronger and stronger. Flame chains grew out of each petal, converging together to form black spheres at up each petal. The spheres were like black pearls. However, each of these pearls possessed a terrifying aura that made people's hair stand on end. They sensed terrifying destructive power from each pearl. This thing is crazy, said one of the grand elders in shock. As everyone was filled with shock, the flame lotus was continuously strengthened by flame energy. It quickly grew to 3,000 meters. The flame lotus slowly revolved. As a result, the void rumbled and boomed as cracks appeared in it. It was like the very sky was being torn apart. It seems it's still not enough. But if I keep going, I probably won't be able to control it. Cursed Long Chen inside. This was a move that he had invented on his own. Using the primordial rune from the immemorial path as a foundation, he had merged Starfall into it. This move was definitely terrifying. On the surface, it was equivalent to nine star falls exploding at once. But due to how they affected each other, he found that there was no way to truly calculate this move's power. He had tested it, and the result was that he had injured himself badly. Based on his estimation, its power was at least above 81 star falls exploding on their own. Furthermore, it was still in an embryonic form. He had not perfected this move yet, and there were still many flaws that he was working on. However, with his little remaining spiritual yuan, he could only use this move. It went without saying that Xiang Yunfei was very powerful, or perhaps more accurately that the mammoth race's foundation was very solid. They had managed to force Long Chen to this point. Xiang Yunfei's giant violet spear was growing more solid, and it was truly like a giant heavenly spear now. Long Chen clenched his teeth. The nine pearls on the petals began to rapidly spin and the flame lotus grew explosively. The lotus was filled with a destructive aura. What a terrifying destructive aura. 
Just what is this move? Is it also a paragon art? Startled cries rang out. Long Chen's black lotus was bizarre and berserk, and it made everyone feel uneasy. This is a world-destroying power. It seems this technique is not complete, but this power. Hujinying, don't be careless. Strengthen the barrier as much as possible. This move should not be underestimated. Yan Nanshan had light flowing in his eyes as he looked at the flame lotus. His expression was solemn. Hu Jinying quickly made some hand seals, and life and death energy surged out of her. New runes appeared on her barrier as she raised its defense to an even greater level. I didn't expect you to also have held something back. However, you're too late. My paragon art is already complete, and I won't give you a chance. Die. The spear behind Xiang Yunfei suddenly shook. His technique was complete, and he immediately launched it at Long Chen. Chapter 1790 Flame Lotus Shakes the Heavens Translator Born to be I never need anyone to give me my opportunities. Furthermore this should be enough if it's just to kill you. Long Chen didn't allow the Black Flame Lotus to absorb any more flame energy. If it grew any stronger, he felt like he wouldn't be able to control it. The flame lotus was 30,000 meters long. As the flame runes filling the sky shattered, a fierce destructive will exploded. The flame lotus was clearly a bit unsteady. It was starting to grow out of control, causing Long Chen's expression to change. He had given the flame lotus too much energy, and it was starting to run rampant. However, then a dragon roar came from the flame lotus, causing it to stabilize. This black flame lotus had been condensed with all of Huo Long's power. However, Huo Long's energy had just been the seed. It was the Nirvana scripture that had drawn out all the world's flame energy for it. The flame energy was the fertile soil that had allowed the seed to rapidly grow. But now there was so much foreign energy that it was starting to change. Fortunately, even though this seed had grown into a tree that towered into the heavens, it still remembered the original seed. Huo Long used that connection to temporarily control it. Mammoth Heaven Slaughter. Xiang Yunfei's row rang out. The huge spear pierced forward mercilessly. World Annihilation Flame Lotus. Long Chen also let out a roar. His spiritual strength erupted, and the flame lotus smashed toward the huge spear. The spear's size, aura, and all other areas seemed to far surpass the black flame lotus. But when the two of them collided, the giant spear paused. It was unable to pierce through the flame lotus. It blocked it. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen's flame lotus seemed minute in the face of the giant spear, but it had blocked it. The flame lotus continued to slowly revolve. The tip of the spear was ground away, becoming a blunt object as if the flame lotus was a rapidly spinning grindstone. Impossible. Xiang Yunfei's expression completely changed. This giant spear was his strongest attack. He had even summoned his ancestor's power. Hence, this attack even possessed the power to kill nether passage experts. However, that black flame lotus had actually blocked it. His spear was unable to pierce through it. Furthermore, he felt the spear's energy being ground away. That was the most horrifying thing. Xiang Yunfei suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. The energy inside that blood was shocking. It was his essence blood. The essence blood formed a mammoth image in the sky. Xiang Yunfei coughed up two more mouthfuls of blood, strengthening the mammoth image. Are you pregnant? Is this your morning sickness? asked Long Chen. Xiang Yunfei coughed up blood once more, but this time it was just ordinary blood, not essence blood. He had bitten his tongue. This distraction caused Xiang Yunfei's mammoth image to quiver. It almost crumbled and Xiang Yunfei hastily spat out another large amount of essence blood. On the other side, Long Chen was panting. Even his soul was in pain. He had used up too much spiritual strength, and it seemed he had overdrafted his spiritual yuan. This was his first time using the World Annihilation Flame Lotus against an enemy, and he had never used it with so much power. From the start, he knew that his chances of getting an easy victory were almost non-existent. Moreover, he didn't want to just defeat Xiang Yunfei. He wanted to kill him. So even though Xiang Yunfei's Yuan spirit had been injured, Long Chen hadn't tried charging at him, instead accepting Xiang Yunfei's attrition battle. If he had gone all out at that time, he would have had an 80% chance of defeating Xiang Yunfei. But, 
he wouldn't even have a 10% chance of killing him because Xiang Yanfei would run. So all the way back then, Long Chen had already been preparing to exhaust all of Xiang Yanfei's energy and kill him with the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. When Xiang Yanfei had been healing his Yuan spirit, Long Chen had been imagining and extrapolating how to use the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. Using this move was still very dangerous for him, and rather than annihilating a world, it would annihilate him first if he made a mistake. However, Long Chen hadn't expected Xiang Yanfei to also have such a terrifying trump card. His goal had actually been the same as Long Chen's. He had wanted to exhaust all his energy and then kill Long Chen in one final move. The good thing though was that the World Annihilation Flame Lotus was even stronger than what Long Chen had imagined. This World Annihilation Flame Lotus's core power was condensed in the Nine Star Falls. The Nine Petals were just there as a frame for the Star Falls. Seeing that Xiang Yanfei's attack wasn't even able to break the outer frame of the World Annihilation Flame Lotus, it seemed that it wasn't qualified to compete with it. The greatest surprise to Long Chen was that he didn't even need to control it after he launched it. Huo Long's own will was enough to keep it stable. As for Xiang Yanfei, he was at a disadvantage. The spear was constantly being ground away, and its energy was dissipating into the air. He had to use his own essence blood to keep strengthening it, or it would be broken. Using my blood, I summon my ancestors' undying spirits. Lend me your power to destroy the enemy before me. Xiang Yanfei crossed his arms before his chest and began to chant. The blood image in front of him seemed to come to life, and it flew into the giant spear. The spear shook intensely. Blinding divine light erupted. Die. Xiang Yanfei was pale but his eyes contained a bit of madness and malevolence. Having exhausted too much of his essence blood, he had paid a terrifying price to kill Long Chen. The spear began to pierce the flame lotus's exterior. However, the flame lotus did not crumble but instead began to shine as well. The nine stars on top of it began to rumble as if they had been awoken from their slumber. Long Chen was staring closely at these changes. This was his first time using this technique at full strength. The results would allow him to see how he could further perfect it. As the petals were destroyed, the flame lotus's energy became unbalanced. The nine stars took the lead, leaving the flame lotus and forming their own ring. This black ring condensed the energy of the nine stars into the center. The energy had just gathered in the center when it rebounded back to the nine stars. As a result, the nine stars instantly exploded. Darkness enveloped the world. Xiang Yanfei's spear was destroyed instantly, unable to endure that power. This is impossible, Xiang Yanfei roared, unable to believe his eyes. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. This spear had been condensed with the power of his ancestors as well as his own power. It was connected to his soul, and he received a heavy injury as it was destroyed. Xing Yanfei endured the pain. He split his one heavenly bone spear into 108 of them, forming three walls with them. He was truly an expert with immense combat experience. However, his three bone shields were nothing in the face of this black wave. They were sent flying, while Xiang Yanfei was buffeted by the powerful shock waves to the point that his skeleton shattered and he almost exploded. He was sent tumbling into the distance. The black wave crashed into Kujin Ying's barrier. The barrier shook, and countless cracks suddenly appeared on it. Kujin Ying was shocked. With Yan Nanshan's warning, she hadn't been careless. This barrier had been condensed with 80% of her power. However, the impact of Long Chen's attack was actually enough to crack it. That meant that it definitely had the ability to kill Nether Passage experts. Darkness enveloped the battlefield. A terrifying heat was refining heaven and earth. Although it was only darkness in front of them, it somehow felt like countless black dragons were roaring within it. This darkness was pitch black. It was a darkness so dark that it was impossible to see hope. It was a darkness that inspired only fear. Even the Nether Passage experts had summoned their own defenses to block this heat. They could feel the wild energy in the air. Truly worthy of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. Famed for its unmatched destructive power. Said Yan Nanshan as he sensed the Black Flames crashing against his defenses. The other Nether Passage experts were also stunned. They were only at the edge of the battlefield. If they were at the center, this attack would have taken their lives. The darkness slowly faded. The sky was still gloomy. 
and the sun seemed like it had lost its power. A terrifying destructive aura still filled the air. Where are they? The battlefield had been completely deformed, but the sky was empty. Neither Long Chen nor Xiang Yunfei were present. Chapter 1791 Crushed to Death Translator Born to be cough. Cough. Suddenly, a figure climbed out of the ground. Startled cries rang out. That person was Xiang Yunfei. Xiang Yunfei's entire body was chaired black. His hair was gone and he looked like a desiccated corpse. He had just crawled up when he began hacking up blood. The current Xiang Yunfei had completely lost his original grandeur and arrogance. His entire body quivered just by standing. He was looking around for Long Chen's figure. That last exchange had been too terrifying. If it hadn't been for the 108 heavenly bone spears, he would have been turned to ash. He was heavily injured, with his soul, chi, and essence badly damaged. He was already on the verge of crumbling. However, he was still looking around. His years of fighting and killing had nurtured his powerful will. He knew that Long Chen wasn't dead. This was his best opportunity to kill him. Suddenly, the ground exploded and a figure flew out, charging at Xiang Yunfei. The black saber in his hand mercilessly slashed down. It's Long Chen. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen's robes were still in perfect condition. Other than his aura being in disorder and a bit of paleness, he looked the same as before. So when that flame lotus exploded, he had already charged underground. Considering how strong his physical body is, he was probably able to avoid a heavy injury, said a life star expert. His guess was correct. Long Chen had immediately charged into the ground when the world annihilation flame lotus was about to explode. However, he hadn't gone too deep. If he did, the underground pressure would have been too great. The depth that he had gone was perfect, allowing him to avoid most of the explosion's power. He was definitely better off than Xiang Yunfei. Boom. Long Chen was just about to reach Xiang Yunfei when the ground around Xiang Yunfei caved in. 108 bone spears shot out of the ground at Long Chen. Heavens, they still have the energy to fight. Boom. The heavenly bone spears were sent flying by Long Chen's saber. Xiang Yunfei's attack had been nothing more than for appearances, but Long Chen's attack contained actual power. Xiang Yunfei's arm was smashed apart by one of the bone spears that was sent flying. Long Chen didn't give Xiang Yunfei a chance to get away. He sent another slash at his head. It was unknown what technique Xiang Yunfei used, but he was like a phantom, flickering to the side. Long Chen's saber missed, slashing into the ground. Long Chen is really out of energy, or he would have managed to change his trajectory. They're both exhausted Xiang Yunfei's technique hadn't been all that marvelous. If Long Chen was in his previous condition, he definitely would have been able to react and change the path of his saber to still strike Xiang Yunfei. Long Chen suddenly put away Evil Moon and punched Xiang Yunfei. Xiang Yunfei's jaw was broken by this punch and he let out a snort as he flew back. Without Evil Moon's weight, Long Chen's speed increased. He suddenly pointed a finger. A flicker of lightning appeared. Suddenly, sharp sword light slashed the air, flying right by Long Chen's head, causing him to hastily dodge. Long Chen's heart shook. He recognized the aura of the one who had just attacked. It was the Grand Elder, Yan Nanshan. He didn't know why Yan Nanshan was stopping him. However, just as he dodged Yan Nanshan's attack, a silent quill flew by the other side of his face. The sword light struck the quill, and a powerful explosion sent Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei tumbling away. Old Hedgehog, I've been waiting for you. Did you think you could hide from me with your little bit of ability? Kujining's sword appeared in Yan Nanshan's hand. Yan Nanshan sent another slash at an empty space. Yan Nanshan, do you really think I'm afraid of you? A cold voice rang out. A symbol appeared in the air, transforming into the size of a mountain that blocked Yan Nanshan's sword. At the same time, a ray of light poured out of the sky, enveloping Xiang Yunfei. Xiang Yunfei is getting away. When that light pillar enveloped Xiang Yunfei, Xiang Yunfei's body began to grow faint. This was a powerful transportation energy that was bringing him away. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, no matter what you try, you can't kill me. Just wait, next time I will definitely who has time to wait for you. Long Chen had taken out a cyan brick at some point. He smashed it at Xiang Yunfei. 
The cyan brick erupted with divine light, transforming into a giant brick that smashed down with enough power to turn heaven and earth upside down. Boom. The cyan brick shattered the light enveloping Xiang Yunfei and slammed into the ground. The entire world shuddered violently, and the ground caved in. There was a bottomless hole in the ground now. At the same time, Yan Nanshan's attack struck the symbol. A heaven-shaking explosion erupted. Long Chen turned to run. He knew that there were two nether passage experts fighting with divine items. If he was struck by the shock waves, he would definitely die. However, he suddenly felt the world spinning around him. He cursed inside. He had overdrafted his energy and didn't have the energy to run. Hu Jinying suddenly appeared in front of him. She extended a hand, blocking the shock waves for Long Chen. Long Chen, how vicious. You actually dared to kill a genius of my ancient races. Space twisted, revealing a strange person with long hair and quills growing out of his back. That strange person glared at Long Chen furiously. Reminded by this person, everyone hastily sensed the battlefield. They found that Xiang Yunfei's aura had completely vanished. The ground rumbled. The 108 heavenly bone spears suddenly transformed into bolts of light that pierced through the void and vanished. The heaven flipping seal slowly rose out of the ground. There was now a person pressed onto one side of it. That person was Xiang Yunfei, smashed into flat pulp. He was essentially unrecognizable, but everyone with eyes knew that he was dead. Dead to the point that he couldn't be more dead. Even his Yuan spirit was gone. A generation's heavenly genius had really died here. It was difficult to comprehend that this was reality. Just at this moment, Yan Nanshan and the other Grand Elders appeared in front of Long Chen. Staring coldly at that strange figure, Yan Nanshan sneered. Old Hedgehog, after so many years, you still haven't grown a brain. Xiang Yunfei initiated a life and death battle with Long Chen. Now that Xiang Yunfei is dead, Long Chen is the vicious one? Would things only be reasonable if Xiang Yunfei had killed Long Chen? Are you sure that your brain hasn't rotted after living for so many years? Exchanging pointers and learning from each other is normal. It should have ended there. Xiang Yunfei was already defeated. So why did you have to launch the killing blow? Are you trying to incite a war between the ancient races and the Martial Heaven Alliance? Roared that strange figure. The quills on his back were constantly trembling with rage. Long Chen silently put away the heaven flipping seal. Looking at Xiang Yunfei's corpse, he shook his head. He hadn't expected things to develop to this point. Originally, he had been holding back the heaven flipping seal in order to collect the heavenly bone spears. Unfortunately, he had been forced to use it on Xiang Yunfei. The heavenly bone spears had fled, and he was powerless to stop them. In the end, he had won nothing. In the face of that ancient race expert's criticism, he couldn't even muster up the will to curse back. Inside a war? Well, if you want to start a war, a single genius is probably not enough. We should add an old hedgehog's life into the mix as well. Suddenly, Yan Nanshan stepped forward. The instant he moved, spastime shattered. It was as if he had stepped into another spastime. He slashed the sword in his hand at the ancient race expert. However, it was like they were in a completely different world. They were in an isolated spastime. The two of them were clearly there, but it was like they weren't. Yan Nanshan actually launched a killing blow right off the bat. The ancient race expert seemed to have not expected this. The quills on his back grew explosively until they covered the sky. Ear-piercing whistling sounds shook people's ears. Ow! Oh, the experts present all covered their ears. Their faces were twisted in pain. That piercing sound was like the cry of a devil stabbing their souls. Long Chen also felt a burst of pain, but it only made him feel uncomfortable. It wasn't able to cause substantial damage to him like the others. Are you all right? Asked Hu Jinying worriedly. Everything else is fine, but my heart hurts a bit, said Long Chen, clutching his chest. What? Did you suffer an internal injury? Asked Hu Jinying, about to check. Long Chen shook his head. I don't know about any hidden injuries, but after putting in so much effort, those 108 heavenly bone spears still managed to get away. I didn't even manage to get one. I feel like my heart's about to stop. You little brat, what are you saying at such a time? Raged Hu Jinying. She had actually been worried, while Long Chen was just joking. 
A-H-H suddenly, a miserable scream echoed through the air. Long Chen hastily looked up. Chapter 1792 Yi Ling Shen accepts a master translator. Born to be a rain of blood fell from the sky, as a streak of sword light pierced through the world. Half of that quilled expert's body exploded. The scream came from him. Yan Nan Shen, you just wait. The ancient races aren't so casually provoked. The quilled expert roared, tore through the void, and vanished. Yan Nanshan shook his head and returned to Long Chen's side, handing the sword to Ku Jinying. He sighed. That old hedgehog's cultivation base has fallen a lot during this time. He really made me have an urge to kill him. Ku Jinying received the sword. One of the other grand elders said, He's from the same generation as you. Back then, although he wasn't a match for you, he still had some ability to fight you. There are probably some shenanigans here. Maybe it wasn't the right choice for us old fellows to stretch our lives out as much as possible. Yan Nanshan looked at Long Chen. Little fellow, let's go drink a few cups. Long Chen nodded. His current condition was terrible. He had overdrawn his energy, and any ordinary Empyrean would be able to threaten his life at this time. In the distance, a few ancient race experts wanted to take Xiang Yunfei's corpse, but they didn't dare to when they looked at Long Chen. Take it. My battle with Xiang Yunfei was not based on personal enmity but simply the competition between our powers. Now that he's dead, our enmity is at an end. Long Chen waved his hand. Long Chen didn't particularly hate Xiang Yunfei. His fight with him was the result of the larger environment. It was part of the laws of the world where the strong devoured the weak. Considering his enmity with the ancient races had long since been set in stone and that Xiang Yunfei was the ancient race's top genius, it was their fate to collide. No one could have changed this. Of course, Long Chen wouldn't foolishly give his opponent a path to live or try to reform them. That was stupid kindness. This kind of enmity between whole races was very difficult to change. Kindness would only bring pain. Only once Long Chen said this did those ancient race experts take Xiang Yunfei's corpse. They immediately left to bring Xiang Yunfei's corpse back to the barbarian mammoth race. The ancient races were probably about to be shaken. Harud. The ancient races always say that they'll tear senior apprentice brother Long Chen's corpse into a million pieces. But now that he left Xiang Yunfei's corpse whole and even let them take it away. They don't even say any thanks. The ancient races are just like that. No matter how well we humans treat them, they won't feel grateful. All they know how to do is suck up to the Xuan beasts. To them, the farts of the Xuan beasts are perfume. Countless disciples began to sneer at the ancient races. If it was Long Chen who had lost today, it was unknown just how Xiang Yunfei would humiliate and display his corpse. The difference in character between them was immense. It also reflected the difference between the human race and the ancient races. Everyone can scatter. The divine pressure that still remains on the battlefield means that those at the soul transformation realm and below should try to avoid the core or their souls will be injured. Warned Kujinying. This battle was worthy of being described as heaven shaking. After the battle, it was unknown how many disciples ran over to comprehend the wills left behind by the two of them. They could use this to temper their souls. However, many disciples weren't strong enough to endure Long Chen and Xiang Yunfei's powerful leftover wills. If those disciples accidentally got too close, they would receive an injury to their souls, perhaps without even noticing. Ku Jinying didn't want this battlefield to cause any deaths amongst talented disciples, so she warned them gravely. After that, she pulled Long Chen and began to leave. However, Yi Ling Shen suddenly walked out and bowed toward Ku Jinying. Alliance head, I wonder if, you would accept me as your apprentice. Oh, how curious, I invited you several times, but you continued to hesitate. Why do you suddenly want me as a master? Hmm, this little brat couldn't have seduced you, right? Asked Kujinying. Cough, Alliance head, please be careful with your words. It's not good to ruin my image like that. Coughed Long Chen. Scram, considering how everyone hates you. What image is there to ruin? Cursed Ku Jinying laughingly. Today's battle had shown Long Chen's power. There were several times that Ku Jinying had thought that Long Chen would be defeated, but he had managed to turn it around. However, then he had killed Xiang Yunfei. Although Long Chen was not her personal disciple, 
he was still one of the disciples beneath the Martial Heaven Alliance, as well as the old man's heir. Hence, Long Chen was no different from her own disciple, and his glory was also partially hers. He had also managed to win some honor for the Martial Heaven Alliance and helped them vent. Now, even Yi Lingxian had taken the initiative to ask to be her apprentice. Hu Jinying was incredibly happy and immediately began to treat her as her apprentice. I've been alone since childhood, so I've constantly had to deal with other people's contempt and bullying. The majority of those people came from sects or powerful families, so I disliked them. But once I grew stronger and began to rise, those sects showed me a smile, irritating me even more. That's why I never wanted to join one. I always felt that there was no love within sects and that people were just tools being used. However, your sincerity today has moved me. I don't think that there are that many people in this world that can cherish their disciples like you do, said Yi Lingxian. Yi Lingxian had seen Ku Jinying's rage and sorrow at the first commander and second commander's deaths. She also thought of Long Chen's advice to take Ku Jinying as her master. Therefore, he put aside her pride and took the initiative. A bit of sorrow appeared in Ku Jinying's eyes. She shook her head. I'm a powerless alliance head. I was unable to protect my own disciples. Shin Li couldn't help saying, All your actions are for the entire Martial Heaven Alliance and all the lives in the righteous path. You are selfless and have put in so much for the Alliance. We're all grateful and we respect you. Countless disciples cheered along with his sentiment. They had all seen Ku Jin Ying's grief and anger. However, she suppressed those feelings for the big picture. That was because she cared about all the lives within the Martial Heaven Alliance, and all those that could be lost based on her decisions. She had sacrificed the majority of her life for the Martial Heaven Alliance, and she had even put aside her own love for it. She had grief that she had to suppress, but she never asked for any repayment. She viewed this as her mission and her responsibility. Now there were many people who approved of her. She suddenly felt blessed to have so many people look at her like this. Junior Apprentice Sister Lingxian, what are you thinking of? Shouldn't you hurry and curry favor with this new master of yours? I should tell you, if you do it well, you'll get plenty of good food and drink in the future. Long Chen winked. Bastard. Hu Jinying cursed and kicked Long Chen, but he actually dodged. However, dodging caused the world to spin around him. Long Chen staggered and collapsed into Yi Lingxian. Are you all right? Asked Yi Lingxian. Long Chen felt his head spinning. He didn't have any energy. He had definitely gone too far this time. However, it wasn't something serious. He would be fine after some time recovering. Unfortunately, all the world trees in the primal chaos space had withered. Or he could have acted like he was completely fine. I'm fine. But you're currying favor with the wrong person. Your master's there. Holding me won't get you any benefits. I Yi Long Chen hadn't even finished speaking before Yi Lingxian tossed Long Chen to the side. Just as he was falling, King King caught him. Clearly, Yi Lingxian had seen King King come, which was why she had tossed him aside. Let's go. Jin Ying, your luck is good to get such a good apprentice. I'm thinking, with the great era here, should I also take an apprentice? Wondered Yan Nanshan. Grand Elder, take me. Long Chen raised his hand immediately. Little brat, you really want to flip the heavens. You want to be my uncle master, raged Hu Jinying. She grabbed Long Chen's ear and twisted. King King and the others laughed. Even the other grand elders smiled. The heavy atmosphere around the Martial Heaven Alliance lightened. After that, people brought the first commander and second commander's corpses back to the headquarters. Long Chen and the others left. The battlefield was silent and everyone was looking at each other. In the end, someone finally stepped into the battlefield carefully. As a result, that rank 7 celestial immediately coughed up blood and retreated. Quite a few people also coughed up blood and flew back. They suddenly noticed that there was a line that if they stepped over, it would feel like a hammer was smashing them. This is where the Alliance had put her barrier. All the pressure of the battlefield is contained here. Only by stepping past it can we enter the real battlefield. But, this is too monstrous, isn't it? People were dumbfounded. The battle was already over, but the remnant pressure was still so terrifying. The other top experts also left. Only D Long and his wife remained standing there. No one acknowledged them. 
It was like they had been forgotten by the world. Let's go. We can take our time with this matter, said De Long. Scram, you useless man. How did I end up so blind as to marry you? You weren't even able to avenge my son, so I'll do it myself. Long Chen, I guarantee you won't have a good death. Di Xin's mother coldly looked in the direction Long Chen went before turning and leaving. Di Long looked at her back. Once she was gone, his anger faded, replaced with a cold smile. Without saying anything, he also vanished into the void. Chapter 1793 Goals Translator Born to be the battle of heavenly geniuses in Clear Wind City had ended with Xiang Yunfei's defeat. Even though a nether passage expert of the ancient races had interfered, Long Chen had still managed to kill Xiang Yunfei. This news caused huge waves throughout the entire continent. Xiang Yunfei had been 8th place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, and he had won this ranking not based on his amazing area slaughter arts, but on true power. He had not relied on techniques to get his ranking, so it could be said that he was a truly terrifying existence. He possessed a paragon art, as well as ancestral divine items, the 108 heavenly bone spears. He had even summoned the power of his ancestors but had still lost to Long Chen. This battle also slapped the faces of certain malicious people spreading rumors that Long Chen had no power and had relied entirely on cheating to get first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. In reality, the Devil Slaughter rankings were based on the number of devil creatures that could be slain, so it was mainly testing wide area killing power. That kind of killing power wasn't necessarily strong in one-on-one -on -one battles. Xiang Yunfei hadn't relied on area attacks but had still gotten 8th place. Furthermore, at that time, he hadn't used his paragon art. He had relied entirely on his own power. If Xiang Yunfei had used his paragon art at that time, perhaps he could have gotten 1st place. However, such a figure had still died to Long Chen's hands. That proved just how strong Long Chen was. The entire continent was shaken. Those voices raising doubts about Long Chen were silent. Everyone's gazes gathered on the ancient races. Xiang Yunfei was one of the ancient races' top geniuses, and he had been slain by Long Chen just like this. Would the ancient races declare war on the Martial Heaven Alliance? Moreover, Long Chen hadn't only slain Xiang Yunfei. On the same day, he had also slain Di Long's son, infuriating the ancient races and the ancient family alliance in one go. For a while, the continent held its breath as it waited for the results. The name of the Eastern Madman gained even greater power. Long Chen was truly worthy of this nickname. He would do anything regardless of the consequences. However, despite his craziness, he also had the brains to look for solutions to his problems. Three incense sticks were inserted into the earth. There was a fresh grave here. Long Chen slowly rose from his respect toward this grave. If the first commander was still alive, this bow of yours would be his life's glory, said Yi Lingxian softly. The first commander and second commander had been buried, and the others had already left. Long Chen had come on his own to light a stick of incense for him. He was worthy of it. He was a true hero. Long Chen touched the gravestone, rubbing away some dirt that had gotten onto it. Sometimes I really don't understand men. A single gaze. A single promise is enough for you guys to risk your lives? Are you fools? Asked Ji Lingxian. She placed a flower in front of the grave. However, there were already many flowers covering the ground. We don't understand either, but we feel like we can trust each other. I believe that if the roles were reversed, he would do the same for me. Other than that, you should realize that this was all planned by Di Xin. Xiang Yunfei's target was me. To put it frankly, I was the one who implicated the two of them, but he didn't blame me for it. Even if he wanted me to destroy the entire ancient family alliance, I'd have done it, said Long Chen. His gaze became cold when he brought this up. Those without any respect were the most dangerous. Because they had no respect, they had no sense of fear or danger. Because they had no sense of fear or danger, they were completely unbridled and capable of doing anything. Di Xin was such a person. He always thought that no matter what he did, his father and mother would protect him. Even if he couldn't beat Long Chen, he still had the support of his parents. No one could do anything to him, so he had no consideration for the consequences of his actions. 
Such a person would do things normal people wouldn't even think of doing. If you encountered such a person, you could ignore them, viewing them as an idiot and scum of society. But if you did ignore them, they would obstinately stick to you. And as long as you relaxed the slightest bit, they would do anything to harm you. This time, Di Ruiyan had been slain, Di Xin had been eliminated, and Xiang Yanfei had been killed. However, Long Chen felt like he had implicated a pair of innocent siblings. If the first commander hadn't died, perhaps he would have become his close brother. Xiang Yanfei was just one of the ancient race's geniuses. What about Pill Valley? What about the corrupt path? What about the Xuan beasts? What about the Bloodkill Hall? What about the ancient family alliance? Just how many people like Xiang Yanfei would come from them in the future? How many first commanders and second commanders would they cause to die? Would those sacrifices become Long Chen's closest friends and family? Upon thinking of this, Long Chen's expression darkened. He had to get stronger. He wanted absolute power so he could shake his enemies. So he could intimidate idiots like Di Xin. Long Chen, do you have any goals for the future? Asked Ji Lingxin to change the subject. She shivered when she saw his icy killing intent. Goals? Of course I have them. But what's your goal first? Oh, the alliance head is really generous. She actually gave you her sword. When Long Chen turned to look at Ji Lingxin, he was shocked to notice the sword on her back. That was Ku Jin Ying's sword. That was a divine item. It was called Falling Star, the opposite of his Starfall. It was a sword with a terrifying origin and one of the main treasures of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Yi Lingxin had only just taken her as a master but Ku Jin Ying already gave her such a precious sword. It could be seen how much trust she had in Yi Lingxin, as well as how she favored her. Are you selling this sword? I'd like to buy it, said Long Chen. Scram, if you dare to try anything, I'll go all out against you. Seeing Long Chen staring at her sword, Yi Lingxin still said some angry words despite knowing he was partially joking. Her hand flew to the hilt of her sword. Long Chen hastily raised his hands. I was just joking. Don't take it so seriously. If we can't do business together, then let's just be amicable. No need to be so angry. This isn't just a sword to me. This is the favor my master bestowed upon me. This sword is a symbol of my loyalty said Yi Lingxin solemnly. Yi Lingxin's heart, which had been cold for many years, had fully melted thanks to this sword. Ku Jin Ying had immediately given her such a gift just because she called her master. They hadn't even gone through any formal rites yet. She had suffered a great deal from other people's contempt, but no one had ever treated her like family. That unconditional trust and love had made her swear on her life to properly respect this master of hers. So even though Long Chen was joking, this was still offensive to her. This kind of joke was unacceptable. Please, my guts are too small. Don't scare the crap out of me. Long Chen hastily waved his hands, accepting his loss. If he couldn't even make a joke, he was no longer interested in trying. After seeing him admit defeat, Yi Lingxin's expression softened. Thank you for your medicinal pill. No problem. It was just thanks to my relationship with King King. Rogue. Long Chen shrugged. What's roguish about it? King King's such a kind and beautiful woman. Who wouldn't like her? She'll sooner or later find her companion yes. She truly is the type to be liked by others. Tell me. Do you like her? Of course I like her. Then have you thought about taking her as a wife? No. Why not? There's no why. I like plenty of people. Am I supposed to marry them all? Something beautiful should just be peacefully appreciated, like a lotus on the riverside. If you pluck it, it will quickly wither. It is only suited to stay by the riverside, while I am fated to not be a riverside. Also, I already have several wives, and they're difficult enough to deal with, especially a certain jealous tigress. If she knew I was picking flowers randomly, she'd skin me alive. Yi Lingxin laughed. She found that speaking with Long Chen was very interesting. His words were always direct and sincere. You really are curious. The so-called heavenly geniuses that I've encountered want to gather as many beautiful women as they can in their pockets. As if beautiful women are only fit for them. It's like anything they like should be theirs. Sai Ji Ling Shen. I like plenty of things. Not just beautiful women. I like powerful people. 
So am I supposed to marry them? Those four old strongest experts from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Am I also supposed to marry them? Sorry, that's not to my taste, said Long Chen. Yi Lingxin laughed again. Even the Grand Elders were not spared from his jokes. You might not be interested in us, and that's fine. But we're very interested in you. Suddenly, a voice rang out that made Long Chen and Yi Lingxin's smile stiffen. Chapter 1794 The Priceless Treasure Reward Translator Born to be that voice was from one of the Grand Elders, Yan Nanshan. Long Chen's expression changed. He hadn't expected the Grand Elder to be eavesdropping on their conversation. Sorry, Grand Elder. I was the one who forgot. Yi Lingxin suddenly clapped her own head. Yan Nanshan did not reply. Long Chen, let's go. Yi Lingxin pulled Long Chen away. What are we doing? Asked Long Chen. I ended up drawn in by your nonsense. I forgot that the Grand Elders wanted me to bring you to the palace. They said there was something important to discuss. Hey, why didn't you say so earlier? Aren't those old fellows going to beat me to death now? Long Chen was about to run. They won't. The Alliance head won't let them punish you, said Yi Lingxin. Afraid that he would really run, she forcibly dragged him away. If you end up conning me to death, I swear my ghost won't let you off, shouted Long Chen. The two of them walked into the palace. The only ones inside were the four grand elders and Ku Jinying. They had already been waiting for a while. Greetings Alliance Head. Greetings Grand Elders. Yi Lingxin immediately bowed. Long Chen followed suit. You little brat. You're becoming more and more brazen. Do you know how to respect your seniors? Ku Jinying immediately reached for Long Chen's ear. Long Chen had long since been prepared and pulled Yi Lingxin in front of him, shouting. Your beloved apprentice is in my hands. Seeing Long Chen actually take a hostage to extort her, Ku Jinying almost laughed. This little fellow was always so slippery. Jinying, that's enough. Calling us old is just the truth. Long Chen wasn't wrong. Yan Nanshan smiled calmly, not minding Long Chen's joke. Only then did Ku Jinying let Long Chen off. Yi Lingxin glared at Long Chen for using her as a shield, although she knew it was a joke. She wasn't happy. The four grand elders stood there, looking at Long Chen. That continued for an incense stick's worth of time, and Long Chen was starting to get goosebumps. There's no need to frighten me. I'll kill and extort whoever you want, free of charge. Long Chen finally spoke. The four grand elders couldn't help but smile. Yan Nanshan finally said, Your mind is powerful. Even in this position, you don't show any flaws. It was definitely not a coincidence that you were able to slay Xiang Yunfei. Are you praising me for having thick skin? Long Chen smiled. Having thick skin is also a mental quality. Long Chen, I have one thing to ask you. If Jin Ying had decided to concede again, you said you would leave the Martial Heaven Alliance. What would you do after that? Asked Yan Nanshan. On that day, Long Chen had said that if Ku Jin Ying allowed the first and second commander's deaths to go unpunished and let go of Di Xin, he would kill Di Xin and then leave the Martial Heaven Alliance, severing his ties with them to place all the blame on himself. When he had said that, everyone had been shocked. They had fully experienced Long Chen's domineering side. If he left the Martial Heaven Alliance, he would definitely die. But this also showed his determination. Wasn't the worst case just death? There was nothing to be afraid of. What else would I do? I would kill. In any case, I killed my way out of the eastern wasteland. I was on my own at first, a little fellow in just the blood condensation realm. But I dared to face the armies of two nations. Now I'm no longer alone. I have a group of beauties, as well as a group of hot-blooded brothers. I don't even know how many times stronger I am compared to back then. Am I supposed to become timid and retreat? If the Alliance had wished to protect the continent's peace in consideration of the big picture by enduring this bullying, that would be my only option. Have you considered the lives of those beauties and brothers of yours? When you are hunted down by all the various large powers, you'll all die to their hands eventually, said one of the Grand Elders. There's no need to worry about it. The Dragonblood Legion's hearts are united. Their lives are mine. My life is theirs. What we have. We risked our lives for, and we will continue to work hard so that we can protect our family, so that we can live with dignity. This is our conviction. 
when others threaten our family or try to trample on our dignity, we won't hesitate to put everything on the line. Even if we die, we won't die humiliated. This gamble is quite big. One of the Grand Elders finally spoke. This Grand Elder had barely spoken at all before. Once he spoke, the other Grand Elders fell silent. It seemed they were secretly communicating. The atmosphere grew a bit tense. All right, let's bet. Opportunity exists within danger. Who can say what will come in the future? The barbarian mammoth race was able to bet everything. So why can't our martial heaven alliance do the same? The great era has already come. If we still held back, what would we be waiting for? I approve of this gamble, said one of the Grand Elders. I also approve, said another Grand Elder. The third Grand Elder bitterly smiled. Little Yan will definitely approve. So even if I opposed, it would be useless. It would just offend the one who gave us his wine. I wouldn't do such a foolish thing. I also approve. The four Grand Elders suddenly laughed. Long Chen was lost. But Ku Jin Ying was pleasantly surprised. All right, we've cast our votes. We've decided that the reward will be yours. Congratulations Yan Nanchen walked over to Long Chen and patted his shoulder with a smile. Senior, I don't really want that reward. I don't like owing favors. There's no need for you to owe us a favor. This is the reward you ought to gain for getting first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings and winning karmic luck for the entire righteous path. We were selfish for not giving it to you, but now we've thought it through. It's yours, said Yan Nanshan. Don't try to trick me. I just heard you say that you were betting. You're treating me as a gambling chip. I don't want to be used what gambling chip? Stop being so sensitive and calm. Yan Nanshan suddenly grabbed Long Chen's shoulder and pushed him backward. A black and white channel appeared in the air there, sucking him in. Long Chen had no ability to resist. He flew through the channel, which brought him deeper into the palace. He quickly arrived at the temple that the four grand elders had blocked him at before. The gates opened like the mouth of a beast to devour Long Chen and then slammed shut. There was no longer any sound that could be heard from within. However, just before the gates closed, Yi Lingxin vaguely heard Long Chen's startled cry as if he had encountered something frightening. What Yi Lingxin looked in stunned silence at the closed temple gates. She felt like Long Chen had encountered something bad. It didn't seem like a reward. Ling Shen, there's no need to be jealous. You will also get your share of this reward. Yan Nanshan smiled at Yi Ling Shen. Me? But I haven't done anything for the Martial Heaven Alliance. And my ranking on the Devil Slaughter rankings. It has nothing to do with those. With your talent and potential. You are qualified to obtain this reward. Long Chen is naturally more qualified. But this little fellow is too dangerous. One mistake and we'll lose our investment and cause a calamity for the Martial Heaven Alliance. So it's a gamble. However, you are different. We can see that you sincerely wish to stay in the Martial Heaven Alliance. And you will one day take Jin Ying's position. Do you not understand the goal behind Jin Ying giving you her sword? Asked Yan Nanshan. Yi Lingshan took a few shocked steps back. She covered her mouth. Staring at Ku Jin Ying. Master, you. Ku Jin Ying smiled and said, Foolish child, there's nothing to be shocked about. This world will be yours in the future. Old timers like us are only green leaves, while youngsters like you will be the main characters of that world. But I'm much weaker than Long Chen. I'm even weaker than the Xiang Yunfei that he killed. She was an independent cultivator who had never once thought that she would be the heir to the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She felt like she was in a dream but also uneasy and panicked that little fellow Long Chen shouldn't even be mentioned. His heart is not with the Martial Heaven Alliance. No one can control him. Meanwhile, you are someone suited to be the heir of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Don't worry, before you've grown up, you will have your master and these grand elders supporting you. Long Chen will also help, so don't feel too much pressure. Ku Jin Ying gently brushed Ku Jin Ying's hair back. Only once Yi Lingxin heard this did she feel slightly more at ease. There are two priceless treasures in this temple. Long Chen will obtain one, and you will obtain one. Do you know what it is? Asked Yan Nanshan. Yi Lingxin shook her head. It's the move that Xiang Yunfei used against Long Chen. A paragon art. Correct. A paragon art. And a very powerful one at that. In truth, 
a paragon art is something Xiang Yunfei was fundamentally unable to control. He was only using a rudimentary form of one and was unable to bring out the paragon art's full power. He also isn't a human. So despite his talent, when it comes to using magical arts and the like, he still had some major flaws. He relied entirely on his bloodline power and the power of his ancestors to use it. It was fundamentally well. It doesn't matter. Go. You will understand once you cultivate it, said Yan Nanshan. Yes. Yi Lingshan respectfully kowtowed toward Ku Jinying and the four grand elders. She knew that this reward was a show of their trust in her. Ku Jinying and the four grand elders smiled. This child was very good and was capable of holding great responsibility. They hadn't misjudged her. It was just regretful that they didn't feel the same way about Long Chen. Yi Lingshan walked into another temple at the back. When she was in front of it, she suddenly heard Yan Nanshan's voice. This back door is the life gate. This one over here, is the death gate. Chapter 1795 Lightning Paragon Art Translator Born to be Long Chen and Yi Lingxian had entered the temple through different entrances, leaving behind only Ku Jinying and the four grand elders in the palace. Grand Uncle Master, what made you change your mind? Asked Ku Jinying. She was very pleasantly surprised that Long Chen had been allowed to enter the temple. The four grand elders had previously refused to allow Long Chen to enter, so now Ku Jinying was surprised that they would change their minds. Considering how experienced they were, they wouldn't act based on personal relationships. Their actions were made entirely with the Martial Heaven Alliance at heart, so it was basically impossible to change their minds. When they had refused Long Chen the first time, she had already given up hope of Long Chen getting the reward. If I said it was because of his wine, would you believe me? Laughed one of the grand elders. Have you been infected by that little fellow? Pay attention to your decorum. Scolded the less carefree grand elder. What decorum? Do people with one foot in the grave need to care so much? Replied the grand elder. In the end, it was Yan Nanshan who answered Ku Jinying. Actually, we truly did not wish Long Chen to obtain this priceless inheritance because he's too wild. He's a double-sided sword, and we could easily be injured ourselves. So Long Chen's essentially doesn't meet the requirements to obtain this inheritance. However, the battle changed our thinking. It can be said that Long Chen has moved us. You finally recognize Long Chen's talented combat power? I said from the start that he was definitely the Martial Heaven Alliance's number one genius, and that if he was raised properly no. Yan Nanshan interrupted her, shaking his head. Long Chen's talent is something we know better than you. What we care about isn't his talent, and the same is true of Yi Lingxian. What we care about is their inner hearts. Yi Lingxian has experienced the lowest and cruelest level of the cultivation world and still did not lose her original heart. Such a person's mental quality is extremely powerful. She will never give up. That's the most fundamental quality a leader needs. As for everything else, if she lacks it, we can nourish it. But a powerful will is partially innate and partially forced out by cruel reality. Such quality is difficult to nourish. Both Long Chen and Yi Lingxian have this quality, but one is a wild horse, while the other is a steady ox. Yi Lingxian is someone very worthy of trust, and she will always be a member of the Martial Heaven Alliance. But Long Chen is a wild horse that no one can control. The reason we changed our minds is because of his fight with Xiang Yunfei but it's not due to the talent and potential he showed. It was because he was willing to risk his life for a single promise. Yes, Long Chen is dangerous, but the greater the danger, the greater the possible benefits. In the end, we decided that this gamble had some chance of succeeding, so we wanted to use up what little we have right here. This was a gamble. With the great era here, the Grand Elders were willing to bet all their chips. Whether they would win or lose would be decided in the future. Heavenly Fate Island went too far this time. Are we going to do anything to them? Asked Ku Jin Ying suddenly, her expression cold. This matter definitely had Heavenly Fate Island behind it. There was no one else who could have managed to calculate things to this extent and make things go so smoothly. Yan Nanshan said, It seems Heavenly Fate Island is unwilling to stay quiet. They want to stand out in the Great Era. However, this time... They tried to incite conflict between us, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance. 
Their calculations were truly accurate. Long Chen clearly saw through the clues and knew their intentions but still jumped into the trap. Even if he was falling for Heavenly Fate Island's trap, he had to kill Di Xin as vengeance for those two children. It's also because of this that our decision changed. This Long Chen, once he decides on something, no one can change his mind. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. With the Great Era, heavenly geniuses will rise in droves. No one can say which one will dominate the others. Before the final results are in, it truly is foolish for Heavenly Fate Island to act like this. But let them be for now. The ancient races and ancient family alliance also know the truth. Let's wait to see how they react. As for Di Xin's mother, she's a hidden danger. But worrying about her is meaningless as well. We can only take things step by step. The corrupt path is also starting to stir. Jin Ying, don't give them any opportunities. Long Chen's rise has actually split a great deal of their attention from the Martial Heaven Alliance. All their attention is concentrated on Long Chen. So we have more time to prepare. Make a large trip to all the powerful forces in our alliance. Make sure to make the opportunists properly stand at attention. Use the news of Long Chen killing Xiang Yunfei and the fact that the four of us have come out. Those slippery little fellows either have to fall in line, or they should scram over to Pill Valley. Don't give them any time for hesitation. If you don't give them a vicious blow, they'll continue to be indecisive, and that's not good for the Martial Heaven Alliance's unity. Various large powers are starting to revive. The Great Era is the best era but also the worst era. Many great figures will rise and contend for supremacy. There will definitely be a reign of blood throughout the continent. If no sovereign rises, the chaotic battle will not end. If we don't win over people's hearts at this time, it will be too late. Yes, I'll prepare and leave immediately, said Kujinying. Then go. Remember that you must be tough this time. Don't give them a chance to haggle or compromise. They can decide for themselves whether they're loyal to the Martial Heaven Alliance or Pill Valley. If they don't give a direct reply within three days, they can be expelled from the Martial Heaven Alliance. They will no longer be under our protection, said Yan Nanshan. Ku Jinying left. This time, she was filled with confidence. With the support of the four Grand Elders, she would no longer need to be polite. Fuck what kind of damn place is this? Why is it so sinister? Long Chen let out a startled cry. It was pitch black inside the gate. He almost thought that he had returned to the netherworld. The surroundings were filled with an air of death. Those old fellows wouldn't have conned me, right? They didn't open the gate to the netherworld and toss me in again did they? Long Chen muttered to himself as he carefully walked forward. Stop wandering around. I don't have much time. An aged voice rang out from the end of the channel. Long Chen quickened his footsteps. After a few turns, he saw a large gate consisting of a massive light. It was an illusory gate. He couldn't see what was beyond. However, he did sense a strong air of death coming from within it. In front of this illusory gate was an elder sitting cross-legged. It was unknown what era his robes came from, but they looked ancient and strange. Senior Long Chen bowed. No need for courtesy. What kind of paragon art do you want to learn? The elder raised his head to look at Long Chen. He got straight to the point. Being stared at by the elder, Long Chen couldn't help but jump. Only once he got closer did he realize that this elder had no face. He was translucent, and his entire body was formed from a strange energy. He had no physical body. This energy was not necessarily a soul or a Yuan spirit. It was an extremely ancient energy that Long Chen had never seen before. Speak. What kind of paragon art do you want to learn? Repeated the elder. Only now did Long Chen learn that the so-called priceless supreme treasure was actually a paragon art. He couldn't help saying, I want to learn all kinds of them. The more the better. I'm very hardworking. So I'm sure I'll be alright. Senior. Do you want some wine? I have some very good wine here. Long Chen took out some wine as a bribe. That elder shook his head. I've been guarding the death gate for 34,000 years, but it's the first time someone has come to give me a gift. However, it's too late. I am originally an ancestral spirit. Now my energy is almost exhausted, and I can only open a single door the slightest bit. Hence, don't get any funny ideas. This gate can bring you to another world. 
So choose the type of energy you are most skilled in. That will be the foundation for the Paragon art. And that will increase your chances of success. Ah, so there's a chance of failure. The Death Gate has a 90% chance of failure. Failure signifies death. The death chi here is the resentment left by the geniuses that failed. Did you not know? Asked the elder. I didn't. No one said anything about it. Then where's the life gate? I'll just enter from the life gate. Said Long Chen. You're already gone through the death gate. You can't go back. So choose the best paragon art for you. And do it quickly as I don't have much time. Warned the elder. Wasn't this an absolute con? They hadn't even told him anything about this. Although he was angry, this elder in front of him was very strict. He had to calm himself down so that he could properly cultivate the paragon art. Xiang Yunfei's paragon art had truly been powerful. If Long Chen also possessed a paragon art, it definitely wouldn't have been so difficult to beat him. Senior, are there any lightning paragon arts? Probed Long Chen. In terms of physical strength, he had the five-star battle armor. In terms of flame energy, he had the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. He was only lacking a corresponding powerful move for his Thunder Force. There is, but I'd advise you to pick another, answered the Elder. Chapter 1796 Morning Dao Lightning Field Translator Born to be why? Asked Long Chen. Because the odds of failure with the Death Gate are already very high, and failure essentially means death. As for the Lightning Paragon Art, amongst all the Paragon Arts here, it is the most berserk. Other Paragon Arts have a 90% chance of death, but the Lightning Paragon Art has 99.99% .99 of death, said the Elder. It was that exaggerated? Long Chen shivered. The space here was filled with the air of death. Just how many experts had fallen here? Those qualified to obtain this inheritance had to be the best of their generation, but even people like them had a 90% chance of failure. This was absolutely monstrous. However, considering that he had Lai Long, he felt some confidence. I'll choose the Lightning Paragon Art, said Long Chen firmly. A Lightning Paragon Art was what he needed the most. Follow me. The Elder didn't try to change Long Chen's mind. He slowly rose and stepped into the illusory gate. Long Chen hastily followed. Once he was through, he found that he was stepping on empty space. It was like he was walking through space. There were some faint stars in the distance, and they seemed very minute. The elder formed hand seals, and the stars in front of him moved. A spatial channel appeared in front of him. Take 19 steps forward and then turn right. Good luck. Long Chen followed the elder's instructions, going through the channel that he had opened. He carefully counted his footsteps. On the 19th step, he turned to look back at the elder. He jumped in shock. The elder's legs had vanished. He was blowing away like dust in the wind. Then the elder's arms faded. When his hands disappeared, this entire space began to rumble. It seemed like it was about to crumble. Long Chen had no time to consider his options. He took a step to the right. The space in front of him twisted, and he appeared in a desolate world. This world was barren. Craggy stones littered the ground and continued beyond the horizon. This world could not be more desolate. There wasn't the slightest air of life. The sky was filled with mist and thunderous rumbling. Lightning twisted and turned in the sky. Its light was what illuminated the ground. He looked around, but he didn't see anything else. The only thing he could hear was the booming of thunder. Hey, where's the person who's supposed to teach me the paragon art? Long Chen shouted into the void. The mist in the sky surged and split open. What the fuck? Only now did Long Chen see that the lightning within the mist was endless lightning beasts. They had been sleeping, and the booming thunder was their snoring. His shout had startled them awake, and they roared furiously as they charged at him. A sea of lightning charged down. They were of various colors and forms, and Long Chen's hair immediately stood on end. He felt an intense sensation of danger. Thunder force covered his body as he smashed a giant flaming bird. That giant bird exploded, but a wild burst of flames threw Long Chen off. He killed more of these lightning beasts. And shockingly, they didn't just possess Thunder Force but also other kinds of energy that made it difficult for him to deal with them. Hey, I'm your ancestor, and I've come to bring you out of here. Sleeping all day is boring, right? Don't you want to see the bright and vibrant world? 
There are plenty of beautiful ladies outside. Well, you wouldn't understand that part. But in any case, I came here to save you. So don't treat me as an enemy. Long Chen suddenly recalled the mammoth primordial spirit beasts that Xiang Yunfei had summoned. If he could subdue these lightning beasts, wouldn't this paragon art have the same ability? However, his shouting was ineffective. These lightning beasts couldn't understand him, and they continued to attack fiercely. The most irritating thing was that after destroying them, they would quickly reform and attack once more. It seemed that they had undying bodies. To be sure he hadn't misread the situation, he hunted down a certain lightning leopard, killing it seven times in a row. It always recovered to full power in a short moment. However, he also realized that these lightning beasts were most likely connected to this world. Within this special world, these lightning beasts would never die. He couldn't be bothered with them. He charged past, wanting to see this world. What was going on here? Where was the paragon art? Wherever he went, the void would erupt and slumbering lightning beasts would be startled awake and attack. More and more of them appeared until there was a sea of lightning beasts chasing Long Chen. This sea was constantly growing larger. Fuck. What is going on? Is this world a giant hornet's nest? Long Chen turned back and his scalp turned numb. Against this many lightning beasts, even if they couldn't kill him, they could exhaust him to death. As Long Chen fled, he found that the lightning beasts were endless. After six hours, he didn't even know how many tens of thousands of miles he had traveled. In any case, the lightning beasts filled this world. Well, there are already so many, so getting a few more shouldn't be a problem. Let's see just how big this world is. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen ignored the mass of lightning beasts behind him and continued forward. He flew for three days and three nights. Although there was no way to determine day and night here, he knew it had been at least 72 hours. At this moment, he finally noticed something odd. In the distance, there was a giant pillar of light. He was delighted to see that, and he rushed over. However, when he got closer, he realized this was no pillar of light but a strange hourglass-like object. A vast body of water had appeared here, and there was also a vast body of water above. They were mixing, with the water above flowing down and the water down flowing up. It formed a marvelous cycle. What pure lightning energy. Long Chen was stunned by this discovery. This sea of water was so large that it was impossible to describe. Even after flying for several hours, he hadn't reached an end. There were terrifying lightning fluctuations coming from it, and it was actually entirely composed of the purest lightning essence. At this moment, he felt Li Long roar within him. It felt a fatal attraction to this lightning sea. Oh? Those lightning beasts have stopped. Long Chen suddenly found that the lightning beasts had stopped. They were just roaring at a certain distance. All of a sudden, a giant head stretched out of the lightning sea. Following it, an enormous body appeared within it. A terrifying pressure shook this world. It was actually a giant drake. A claw larger than a mountain smashed toward Long Chen. Even before it arrived, Long Chen felt like he was being crushed. He felt like he couldn't even move. Boom. Long Chen immediately summoned the Divine Ring and Five Star Battle Armor. Lightning also appeared around him, and he slashed a lightning blade at the giant claw. Long Chen was sent flying, his entire body feeling like it was about to collapse. This drake was too powerful. Even Nether Passage experts wouldn't be able to take it lightly. Hey, I'm not here to fight. I came to learn the Paragon Art, shouted Long Chen upon seeing the drake attack again. Unexpectedly. The giant drake really did stop. It coldly stared at Long Chen. Our morning Dao lightning field's contract with the human race has already come to an end. We no longer have any association. So scram. The giant drake was actually able to speak human words. But its voice was filled with contempt. It couldn't be such a con. Right? If the contract is up, let's start a new contract. You wouldn't make me take the whole trip here for nothing. Right? Long Chen naturally wouldn't leave just like that. What kind of joke was this supposed to be? He had nowhere to go. HMPH, if you want to continue the contract, then fine. As long as you can place your spiritual seal on the core of this world, you can take away the Paragon Arts rune, said the giant drake. This old drake had to have lived for countless years. 
or there would have been no way it could speak so smoothly and even fill it with such emotion. Of course, that emotion was disdain. Long Chen looked at the giant hourglass and truly did see an image at the center of it. That was most likely the Paragon Arts rune. Then I won't stand on courtesy holding a lightning blade. Long Chen took a single step and seemed to teleport. Lightning flickering around his body. Chapter 1797 Despair Translator Born to be Long Chen actually used the celestial lightning body blink to flash by the giant drake. Childish. The giant drake snorted with disdain. Its giant tail suddenly slammed into the lightning sea. A huge wave erupted from the lightning sea, blocking Long Chen's path. Split the heavens six. As if he had long since expected such resistance. Long Chen slashed with his lightning blade. A giant cut appeared in the huge wave. And without hesitation, Long Chen charged through. Long Chen was thankful that Split the Heavens had such immense penetrative power. Even this kind of giant attack could be easily pierced by it. Once he was past the wave, he heard the giant drake's roar. Clearly, it hadn't expected Long Chen to have such power. It gave chase. Its body was huge, but it was incredibly quick. However, Long Chen was also fast. Now that he was ahead, the drake couldn't catch up. Suddenly, the lightning sea erupted, and one giant drake after another appeared out of it, blocking Long Chen. When they opened their mouths, swords of lightning pierced through the air at him. Each of the lightning swords was like a long mountain range. Booming sounds echoed through the air. Seeing these attacks, Long Chen summoned lightning wings on his back. His speed increased again and he shot past the lightning swords. At this time, Long Chen was surprised to see nine of these giant drakes. They were all attacking him at the same time. Long Chen's heart pounded hard. At this time, the elder's words resurfaced in his mind. Other inheritances had a 90% chance of failure, but this place had 99.99% to be blocked by nine powerful drakes comparable to nether passage experts, let alone Long Chen. Even Nether Passage experts would have to submit. If it was just one, perhaps Long Chen would have some urge to fight. But with nine of them, taking them head on would be suicide. Based on that Drake's words, as long as he could obtain that Paragon Art rune, he would be able to establish a new contract. In other words, if he obtained it, he would pass. These Drakes wouldn't be able to attack him any longer. He pushed the Celestial Lightning Body Blink to its peak. He was like a phantom flitting through their attacks. The nine drakes were launching a furious barrage of attacks. It was like nine giants were attacking a mosquito. But this mosquito was too fast. They couldn't hit Long Chen. And it made them roar furiously. Huge waves surged out of the lightning sea as they did everything in their power to stop Long Chen. However, the sixth form of split the heavens pierced the waves easily. Rather than stopping Long Chen. The waves ended up hindering their own speed. Long Chen was rapidly approaching the core. As he got closer to the core, he became even more shocked. This place that looked like an hourglass was where two sources of lightning energy were intermingling. Both sides looked identical. The lightning energy formed a mysterious cycle. At the core, there was a giant image that looked like a gate with a pair of wings and a spear. Long Chen had no time to examine the two sources of lightning. Nor did he have time to carefully look at this rune. He charged toward it. The nine drakes were unable to stop him. He was too fast and nimble. Infuriating them. Just as Long Chen was starting to smile. He suddenly felt his heart drop. An intense sensation of danger welled up from within him. His intuition built up from years of walking the line between life and death made him stop and retreat at full speed. Boom. Just as he retreated. A silver claw smashed down from the sky, crashing down right where he had been. Another giant drake had appeared. Its entire body was silver, and it had come out of the lightning source in the sky. It was dazzling, looking as if it had been made entirely from silver. Long Chen's hair rose. He felt a fatal threat from this silver drake. His intuition told him that its power far surpassed his imagination. The silver drake coldly looked at Long Chen. Human. This morning Dao Lightning Field's contract with the human race is done. We will no longer be your subordinates. And you are no longer qualified to enslave us. Go back and tell your elders that 8,000 years ago, our contract reached an end. Both sides can now walk their own paths. 
If any of you get any ideas about this morning Dow Lightning field, don't blame us for not being polite. What? That elder didn't tell me any of this before I entered. Now I can't even obtain the Paragon art, and I can't go back. This, this is a giant con. Long Chen was speechless. Although Long Chen was already used to his bad luck, this was too much, wasn't it? It was his own allies that had sent him here to his death, and they hadn't even given him a way out. Then you can just die here. The nine drakes lined up behind Long Chen, while in front of him was the unimaginably terrifying Silver Drake. Sorry, I can't die yet. Can I ask, if I obtain that Paragon Art Rune, will you stop trying to kill me? That's correct. As long as you can obtain the rune's recognition, you will obtain the recognition of the Morning Dao Lightning Field. We naturally wouldn't be able to kill you. However, don't be so conceited. After being enslaved once by your human race, I won't give you a chance. If you try anything, I will immediately kill you. A vast aura from the Silver Drake locked onto Long Chen. Thunder Force gathered from every direction, and this world became enveloped by Silver Lightning runes. Long Chen was caught in a terrifying domain. Berserk Silver Lightning surrounded Long Chen. Each lightning rune was like a sharp blade, possessing enough power to destroy a mountain. Long Chen was in a sea of millions and millions of those silver runes. It seemed like as long as the silver drake wished it, he would be blown apart. That was an absolute power that could not be resisted. The difference between them was too immense. Die or scram, you choose, said the silver drake coldly. I choose neither. I choose that rune. Lightning exploded out of Long Chen. It was sacred and divine. Those silver lightning runes, which had originally locked down this area securely, suddenly fled like frightened rabbits. Divine lightning. It was God amongst lightning. So all other lightning had to make way for it. As soon as Long Chen summoned this divine lightning, he broke the silver drake's domain. He vanished. And in three blinks, he appeared in front of the paragon art rune. However, he had just gotten there when a giant tail whipped toward him. As a result, Long Chen felt like a hammer had struck his body. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his bones shattered. Long Chen did his best to stabilize himself in the air, but his heart turned cold. Even though his divine lightning had shattered the Silver Drake's domain, the difference between them was too great. Furthermore, the Silver Drake's body was gigantic. There was no way for him to dodge it. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen summoned Lai Long. His primal chaos space hadn't recovered yet, and if he was injured again, it would be dangerous. At the same time, Long Chen prepared the heaven flipping seal. He was planning on having Lai Long entangle the silver drake and then smash it with the heaven flipping seal. That was his final trump card. If it failed, he would be doomed. His eyes were locked on the silver drake. He didn't have much confidence even in this final trump card. The Silver Drake was too powerful. Compared to it, he was like a speck of dust. Wait a moment. Just as Long Chen was preparing to attack, the Silver Drake suddenly spoke. Tell me, how did you raise this lightning beast of yours? How had he raised it? Long Chen suddenly had a thought. However, his expression didn't change. It's just an ordinary lightning beast. But each time I undergo tribulation, I use the lightning to feed it. In my last tribulation, it helped me through my lightning tribulation by devouring a divine lightning rune. So it possesses the power of divine lightning. What? Do you want it? Just give up. I won't let you devour it no matter what the silver drake ignored Long Chen's threat. Instead, it quietly looked at Lai Long. After a moment, it said, I'm willing to go through a business transaction with you. I can let you obtain the paragon art rune. But you must satisfy one of my conditions. Chapter 1798 Utmost Conning Effort Translator Born to be what condition? Long Chen smiled. His chance had come. This lightning dragon of yours possesses a kind of energy I want. I don't need to devour it. I just need 80% of its energy. Don't even think about it. Long Chen directly refused. The Silver Drake was enraged. Do you believe me when I say I can just kill you and devour it? All its scales lit up, and Thunder Force boomed. A terrifying energy once more locked onto Long Chen. I don't believe you. 1. It's hard to say if you could even kill me. 2. Even if you kill me, 
Lai Long will explode and erase its divine nature before its death, so you won't obtain anything. 3. And this is the most important thing. Lai Long is not my subordinate but a companion I can entrust my life to. I told you not to get any ideas about it. Although you're powerful, I naturally have my own trump card since I dared to come here, said Long Chen indifferently. HMPH, arrogant human, since you're so foolish, I can only kill you. The silver drake raised its claw. Hey, wait a moment, I'm not done talking. Long Chen hastily waved his hands. What else is there to say? The silver drake's claw stopped in the air. Lai Long is my companion, so this condition of yours is no good. However, he, I have an even better condition for you. What are you talking about? Well, can you first shrink down a bit? I can't even see your whole body, and it's very awkward for me, probed Long Chen. The silver drake was truly too big. It was so big that he had a headache just trying to see it. Not being able to see its expression was also difficult. The silver drake hesitated, but then it really did shrink down to 30,000 meters, practically identical to Lai Long. However, once it shrank, Long Chen felt like he shouldn't have asked. With its power compressed, the spatial fluctuations in the surroundings grew more intense as if the void was about to explode from the pressure. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. So in its small state, the silver drake was even more terrifying. But he couldn't just ask it to get bigger now. Shouldn't you hurry up with what you have to say? Shouted the silver drake. Cough. Then I'll get to the point. I have some business to discuss with you. It could be said that if this business takes off, it will completely change your life. I won't hide the truth from you. I am a reincarnation of a god. And each time my power increases, I draw a divine lightning that tempers me. Other people's tribulations are a drizzle. While my tribulation is a true shower, it's just that using divine lightning as a shower is a waste. That's why I always save a bit for Lai Long. You've also seen how fat and mighty Lai Long is. My intention is to have you cooperate with me. When I go through my tribulations, I will split a portion of my divine lightning with you. I should put it this way to you. Each time I undergo tribulation, the power of the divine lightning and its purity will be ten times greater than before. Maybe even a hundred times greater. If you devour my companion's little bit of energy, it won't even be a snack. I can see that although you are powerful, your body is lacking that divine nature. So you are unable to become a true dragon. But if you cooperate with me, I'll constantly give you divine lightning and help you become a true dragon. How is that? Can I trust those words? The silver drake was definitely moved by this offer. The silver drake's outer appearance wasn't that different from a true dragon. It was only lacking the dragon horn. However, without the dragon horn, a drake would forever just be a larger serpent. The term drake was just in recognition of its power. It was not a true dragon. What reason do I have to trick you? This cooperation is mutually beneficial. That's a true cooperation Long Chen smiled. How do you want to cooperate that sinister smile of Long Chen ended up raising the silver drake's guard? It's very simple. Give me the paragon art. That's a must because I need it to live longer and go through more tribulations. Otherwise, if I died before my cultivation base broke through, what would you do? Second, if I encounter some kind of amazing existence in the outside world, you have to help me handle it because if I die, it will interfere with your growth. Are you trying to get me to be a free fighter for you? The Silver Drake was no fool. It immediately understood Long Chen's intentions. How is it free? I'm giving you such good divine lightning. It's just payment after the purchase HMPH. What a joke. Everything you've said is nonsense. You're trying to con me into being your fighter. I didn't expect a youngster like you to have such gods. Sneered the Silver Drake. It has nothing to do with gods. You've seen Lai Long's power. Although its current power isn't as great as yours, you've been alive for countless years. While Lai Long has only existed for a few years, it's just a child now, yet it possesses such power. Let me put it to you this way. When I undergo tribulation, there really is as much divine lightning as you want. The amount of divine lightning will only be limited by how big your stomach is. This is a decision that will decide your fate. Opportunities must be grasped. 
That divine lightning will be the foundation from which your entire life changes. It's your chance to break out of the cocoon. Long Chen was in the midst of trying to sway the silver drake when Lai Long suddenly opened its mouth and shot out a foot-wide lightning sphere at it. That made Long Chen jump in horror. He thought that Lai Long had just attacked. However, he then quickly understood what Lai Long was doing. It was proving itself to the silver drake. The silver drake devoured the lightning sphere. As a result, a twinkle appeared in its eyes as it was stunned. How is it? Lai Long's power still isn't pure enough. But after my next tribulation, just imagine what it will be like with ten or even a hundred times the divine lightning energy. Long Chen raised his eyebrows several times seducingly. That, that's still unacceptable. I won't be someone else's fighter. The silver drake was extremely moved, but it had its own dignity. It was the master of the morning Dao lightning field. How could it possibly be willing to become someone else's fighter? How could a powerful existence like you be called out to fight for nothing? Just tell your subordinates to fight and it'll be more than enough, said Long Chen, not forgetting to flatter the silver drake. All right then, but you can't go too far. Don't constantly call my subordinates out to fight for you, warned the silver drake. Of course, I'm not the kind of person to get caught in all kinds of little trouble, said Long Chen with a strange smile. Yes, when he caused trouble. It was never small. As long as the silver drake agreed, everything else would be easy. If its little brothers were suddenly losing, wouldn't it come help anyway? He, thinking of how he had gained such a powerful helper, Long Chen almost shouted in joy. Fine, go brand the Paragon Art Divine Rune. As for the details, you can ask my nine generals the silver drake's figure vanished into the lightning sea. Clearly, that was its territory. When the silver drake vanished, leaving Long Chen with the nine drakes, the atmosphere was a bit awkward. Come, don't just stare. We'll be one family in the future, so no need to mind about such minor things. Long Chen flicked his fingers, and nine pearls of lightning shot toward the nine drakes. This lightning energy was far less than what Lai Long had given the silver drake. However, the drakes were delighted and immediately devoured them. The hostility in their eyes faded. Long Chen had already come to an agreement with their boss, and they didn't have any bad opinion about it. Long Chen had already given them a taste of the benefits. Many thanks. The drakes transformed into 300 meter forms. No need to thank me. It's just my greeting gift to you all. In the future, there will definitely be larger gifts. As long as you follow me, I guarantee to get you Thunder Force dozens and even hundreds of times purer than this. You'll get more than you can even eat, promised Long Chen. Really of course, your boss that's the great dragon king. Haha, <laughs> your great dragon king also won't be able to eat all of it. You'll all get more than your fill. Well, even explaining it wouldn't mean anything. You'll know in the future. Following me is definitely your wisest decision. Ah, that's right. I'm Long Chen. So you can call me Brother Long. I definitely won't forget you when the time comes. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Long Chen was delighted. Each of these drakes was about as strong as he was. When combined, who could compete with him? Brother Long, I'm Dragon One. There are nine of us. You probably can't differentiate us. So just call a number when you need us, said one of the lightning drakes. Clearly, they had been won over by Long Chen. Furthermore, considering that Long Chen had come to an agreement with their great dragon king, the two of them were essentially two figures on the same level. They naturally became respectful. Brother Long, don't you want to absorb that Paragon Art Rune? We'll teach you how to do it, said one of the drakes courteously. Chapter 1799 Obtaining the Paragon Art Translator Born to be accompanied by the nine drakes, Long Chen slowly approached the core of the hourglass. It was where the hourglass was at its thinnest, its center. Through Dragon One's introduction, Long Chen learned that this morning Dao Lightning Field was its own minor world. It was the result of a supreme expert separating part of a major world, leaving only the purest Thunder Force inside. However, no energy could exist on its own, including Thunder Force. Thunder Force itself was also split into different kinds. The greatest attribute that differentiated them was actually Yin and Yang. This was something that Long Chen had never encountered before. 
He had always thought that lightning was the most supreme yang existence in the world. He had never heard of lightning also being yin. Amongst the yin and yang lightnings, there were over 10,000 different kinds of thunder force, each one with its own specialties. The lightning sources of the hourglass were one yin and one yang. The two energies were constantly mixing. This place was the root of this minor world. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Just what kind of existence had been capable of creating such a world? From Dragon One, he learned that they had been living for hundreds of thousands of years. They had had eight masters before, and after the last master died, they gained their full freedom. No one else had come to the Morning Dao Lightning Field. They had been peacefully living here, but unfortunately, their cultivation bases had already reached their limits. They couldn't grow any stronger. It seemed that this world's laws were restricting them. When Long Chen asked who the master of this world had been, they shook their heads. The master of this world was the master of the Paragon Art. But this world had no master now. They had a contractual rune in their heads that connected them to the Paragon Art rune. Even the Silver Lightning Drake had that contractual rune and was under its effects. After the contract had been dispelled, the effect of those contractual runes had faded allowing them to grow stronger beyond the contract. Hearing all this, Long Chen cursed inside. How unlucky had he been? It was only in his generation that these lightning drakes had become so wild. Originally, the reason why he had dared to challenge the lightning paragon art was because he had some confidence in Lai Long. Compared to other experts on the same level as him, he would definitely have an advantage. However, when he got here, he found that these drakes were no longer restricted by the contractual runes and had grown far stronger than they had been meant to be. The difficulty had multiplied by many times from when the last people had attempted to inherit this paragon art. That silver drake in particular was something that Long Chen estimated not even nether passage experts would necessarily be a match for. How was he, a soul transformation expert, supposed to subdue it? Brother Long. There are three parts to this Paragon Art Rune. The gate part refers to the gate of the Morning Dao Lightning Field. As long as you place your spiritual seal on it, you can control it. When you return to your world, you can open the channel to the Morning Dao Lightning Field, said Dragon One. So this was the essence of a Paragon Art. Long Chen thought of how Xiang Yunfei had also connected himself to another world with his Paragon Art. This is the Sundering Lightning Heavenly Wings and the Wild Lightning Soul Battle Spear. Both of them are for use in combat and extremely powerful. However, controlling them is very difficult, said Dragon One. Many thanks. I'll try it. Long Chen reached out and pressed his palm against the Paragon Art Rune. The thunder force inside his body circulated. Rumbling rang out, and the entire Morning Dao Lightning Field shook. The gate image lit up. Long Chen's Yuan spirit suddenly came out of his head. It was forming hand seals. That wasn't something that he was controlling. It was the Paragon Art Rune that was transmitting information to him, and he was simply following it. As he formed hand seals, a giant gate appeared behind him. The gate grew larger and larger, and lightning runes flowed around it. It was both sacred and wild. How is the gate so big? This is just your first time, exclaimed Dragon One. According to reason, the first time someone opened this spatial gate, it would be very small and unstable. It would be unusable. But Long Chen had summoned such a giant gate on his first try. What the drakes didn't know was that this spatial gate scale was based on the strength of the user's Yuan spirit. When Xiang Yunfei had used his Paragon Art, it had taken him a long time to activate it. However, as Long Chen's Yuan spirit was far stronger, his activation time was much shorter. Opening this gate wasn't very difficult. As long as his Yuan spirit still had energy, it would be easy. The void cracked. The huge gate began to slowly open. Brother Long, you can't open the gate here, shouted the drakes. Why not? This gate connects to the Morning Dao Lightning Field. We're already here. Opening this gate will break the laws here. You can only open this gate in your world, explained Dragon One. These hand seals are what connects you to the Morning Dao Lightning Field. Try reversing the hand seals, and you'll find that your gate will allow us to come out to your world, explained another drake. Long Chen nodded. This paragon art was really interesting, but it wasn't too difficult. It was easy to control. 
Dragon One seemed to see what he was thinking and said, Opening the gate isn't difficult. The difficult part is the speed at which you can open it and the scale. My guess is the reason you can activate it so quickly is due to the divine lightning and your Yuan spirit. The previous humans found it much harder to open this gate. Another reason it was more difficult was because at that time, the gate was connected to our contractual runes, and we would naturally resist as we wouldn't want a weak master. Many humans died like that because their Yuan spirits were unable to suppress us. But now our contractual runes have faded, so it's naturally easier to just open the gate. You should try the Sundering Lightning Heavenly Wings and the Wild Lightning Soul Battle Spear. Those are the true attacking Paragon Arts. Cultivating them is very difficult. Then what do I do? Asked Long Chen. Merge your Yuan spirit with the Paragon Art Rune. Your Yuan spirit should enter a special space where you can comprehend how to use the Paragon Arts. It will take you time to fully understand their profundities. Said Dragon One. How much time does it take? Quite a bit. If you're fast, two to three years. If you're slow, five or six years. That bit of time is nothing to us, but we know it's longer to humans, said Dragon One. These nine drakes were all very intelligent. They had followed multiple generations of human masters along with their silver drake king. They had some understanding of humans. That's too long. I can't wait that long. Long Chen shook his head. No matter how strong the paragon art was. He couldn't use two years on it. I have another method. Long Chen pressed his hand against the Paragon Art Rune, and the lightning dragon mark on his arm lit up. Li Long flowed down his arm and into the rune. Ha ha ha. I really am a genius laughed Long Chen, extremely pleased with himself. You, you're having your lightning beast learn the Paragon Art. The drakes were stunned. Yup, it's an innate lightning spirit, so cultivating lightning arts is easy for it. For it to learn it is the same as me learning it. So won't that be much simpler? Long Chen smiled brightly. Are you not afraid of it one day growing stronger than you and betraying you? It might even kill you. Said Dragon One. Betray me? No. That's absolutely impossible. There will be no betrayal between us. It won't betray me. And I won't betray it. When your king wanted to devour it. To tell the truth. I wouldn't allow it even if I died here. Lai Long can die for me, and I can die for it. It's not a lightning beast, and it's not a tool. It's a comrade I can trust with my life, said Long Chen. The nine drakes didn't say anything, but there were large waves in their hearts. They were tools created by experts, and they were born to be used. In fact, this entire morning Dao lightning field existed to be used. The successive generations of masters they had had also only viewed them as tools. So they naturally disliked the human race. However, they couldn't help feeling that Long Chen was different. Suddenly, space trembled, and light came from the Paragon Art Rune. Long Chen's expression changed as he received a message from Lai Long. Within the rune was a terrifying divine pressure that Lai Long couldn't resist. Long Chen hastily pressed his hands against the rune, and his Yuan spirit charged into it. Within the lightning sea, the silver drake slowly opened its eyes and watched as Long Chen's Yuan spirit left his body, leaving behind an empty body. It muttered to himself, either he's a genius, or he's a remarkably alike idiot. With his Yuan spirit gone, any of those lightning drakes could kill his physical body without the slightest effort. Then they could kill his Yuan spirit as well. What they didn't know was that Long Chen had the nine-star hegemon body art and its sharp senses toward malice. He had the confidence to do something like this. Moreover, these drakes had no reason to kill him. He also did this on purpose to show the drakes that he trusted them. Would they still not help him upon seeing this trust? Three days later, the Paragon Art Rune suddenly dimmed. Long Chen's eyes opened, and there was lightning in his eyes. Ha 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 ha, the Paragon Art is mine, laughed Long Chen. Chapter 1800 Every person has a different fate translator. Born to be Long Chen laughed with confidence and delight. Brother Long, have, have you really learned to control the Paragon Art so quickly? The nine drakes were astounded. They had been standing guard here the whole time. He, Lai Long has already finished learning it. For my Yuan spirit to learn it as well will still take some time. But everyone, thank you. Long Chen cupped his fists. Lai Long was a manifestation of lightning. For it to learn a lightning art was simple. 
Once it learned it, with their spirits connected, Long Chen would also be able to learn it quickly. The best part though was that when cultivating within the rune, Lai Long had absorbed a huge amount of thunder force from it. Lai Long's quality didn't necessarily change, but now it had practically a limitless reserve of energy. Long Chen knew that this energy was left for those inheriting this paragon art. Only when you possessed enough thunder force could you unleash this art. You're going to leave now. The silver drake also appeared. Yes, I still have many things to do in the outside world. Don't worry, I remember our agreement. I always keep my promises. Long Chen nodded. All right, we've never really trusted a human. So hopefully you won't disappoint us, said the silver drake. Time will tell. Long Chen nodded. After forming new hand seals, faint lightning runes appeared flowing around his fingers, and a 30-meter gate appeared in front of him. It was much smaller than the giant gate he had made at the beginning. However, this time, there were no intense fluctuations when the lightning gate appeared. Everyone, we'll quickly see each other again. Long Chen cupped his fists and then stepped through the lightning gate. As soon as he entered, the gate closed and vanished. The scene in front of Long Chen changed. He had reappeared in that sinister passage filled with the air of death. However, the elder that had guided him had already vanished. That elder had been an ancient heroic expert. It had used up its last bit of energy and had now fully vanished. It had been nothing more than the slightest discarnate soul of an expert from the ancient era. Their entire existence was supported by the faith energy of their descendants. If the sacrifices offered to them weren't enough or the faith energy wasn't pure enough, they would dissipate sooner or later. That made Long Chen sigh inside. Both good people and bad people had things that they wanted to protect in their lives. Despite already being dead, this spirit had still been protecting his descendants. So bad people also had a good side. But that good side was built over other people's suffering. Long Chen followed the channel until he reached a large gate. This gate was not the gate from which he had entered. He looked back after going through this gate and saw a large immortal character above it. It was the life character. He went around the temple to the gate that he had entered, and as expected, he saw a giant death character. Long Chen immediately returned to the palace, filled with rage. As soon as he entered, he saw Ku Jinying and the four grand elders looking at Ji Lingxin with pleasantly surprised expressions. Long Chen, you're back. Yan Nanshan was shocked to see Long Chen walk in. You old bastard. Were you trying to con me to death? You sent me into the death gate? Spit out the wine I gave you. Raged Long Chen. He moved to throttle Yan Nanshan. Long Chen. Don't be rude. Long Chen's actions made Ku Jin Ying jump. And she hastily blocked him. Even then. Long Chen furiously said. Old fellow. Do you dare to con me a bit more? That death gate had a 90% chance of death. Why would you harm me? Ha ha ha. Youngster shouldn't be so temperamental Yan Nanshan didn't get angry. He smiled faintly. That's easy for you to say. Do you want to try taking my place? Not only did you send me through the death gate, but the contract was already up. There wasn't even a 10% chance of surviving. Roared Long Chen. Long Chen. Stop shouting. Explain what happened in detail said Ku Jinying. It really pisses me off. I almost got conned to death. Long Chen explained what had happened in the morning Dao lightning field. When they heard that the contract there had already come to an end and that the lightning beasts had already escaped the restrictions of the Paragon Arts runes, they jumped in shock. In the end, Long Chen had used Lai Long's power to sway the other side, obtaining the Paragon Art rune. It truly had been dangerous. The slightest mistake and he would have died. First of all, we really didn't know that such a thing would occur. According to reason, if the Paragon Art Rune lost its effect, the entire Morning Dao Lightning Field should have collapsed. Although the Death Gate had a 90% chance of death, with your power, it wasn't that dangerous, which was why we left the Death Gate to you. Yan Nanshan smiled bitterly. He really didn't know what to say about Long Chen's luck. With his power, Obtaining one of the Paragon Art inheritances should have been easy, but he had almost died instead. Then why didn't you tell me anything in advance so I could prepare? Other than that, if there's a life gate, why'd you toss me into the death gate? Demanded Long Chen. Don't be so angry. You're overestimating the Martial Heaven Alliance. 
We only had two spots left for the Paragon Art Inheritance, and you also saw the heroic spirit within the temple. Their energy has reached a limit. This is our current predicament. We had one spot for the Life Gate and one for the Death Gate. Tell me, if it were up to you, would you choose the Life Gate and leave the Death Gate to a woman? Is that part of your character? Asked Yan Nanshan. You, can you not play with me like this? Long Chen couldn't help feeling some angry admiration for Yan Nanshan. With that one question, he had made Long Chen speechless. What could he say? If there was only one life and one death spot, then he really would only be able to choose the death gate. But this scenario was still infuriating either way, and now he had nowhere to vent. Fine, count yourself an expert. I can't beat you when it comes to this. Fortunately, my life is tough enough, or I'd have to haunt you as a ghost, said Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen like this, angry but not able to release it, they laughed. Long Chen, what kind of paragon art did you obtain? Asked Ji Lingxian. She was very curious. Ah, the paragon art I learned is called Heaven Striking Five Lightning Rumble. It's perfect to use against people who con me. What about you? Long Chen began spouting nonsense. He hadn't asked the name of the paragon art, so he didn't know. Furthermore, he hadn't mastered the paragon art yet, but with Lai Long having learned it, he should still be able to use it. Long Chen was extremely surprised to see that Ji Lingxian was already out. If it hadn't been for Lai Long, it would have taken him months or years to learn the paragon art. However, Ji Lingxian had come out before him. How could he not be surprised? Yes, I've already learned it. It took me three whole years, said Yi Lingxian. What? It's already been three years. Long Chen jumped. No, when I entered that world, the senior inside taught me the heaven-rending divine slash. The senior also used that world's energy to open a special spatial domain where I cultivated for three years, while only three days passed in the martial heaven continent, explained Yi Lingxian. A senior? Who guided and taught you? and opened a special spatial domain for you. Long Chen felt like he was about to go crazy. Was the difference between people's fates really so great? She hadn't even been in danger, while he had almost died. When he compared himself to Yi Lingxian, he had an urge to slam his head into the wall. Cough. It was just luck. Yes, just luck. Long Chen, I'm sure you know it's beneficial to run into setbacks. Considering you obtained your paragon art from the death gate, I'm sure it's very powerful, said Yan Nanshan hastily. Fine, I'm not jealous, I'm not resentful, I'm used to my bad luck, I just hope that if something similar happens, you can tell me beforehand. Long Chen bitterly smiled. When he thought about it, he found that he really couldn't blame anyone. His natural luck was just this bad. Fortunately, the results were good, at the very least. He had obtained the Paragon Art Inheritance. He had gained the trust of the Lightning Drakes in the Morning Dao Lightning Field, as well as two attacking Paragon Arts. His gains were very plentiful, so he should be grateful. Do you want to test the power of our Paragon Arts and see which one is stronger? Yi Lingxian looked at Long Chen excitedly like she was a child. Clearly, she wished to test the power of her new Paragon Art. She also wanted to experience Long Chen's paragon art. I think we shouldn't. You're a good child, and using the heaven striking five lightning rumble against you isn't suitable. Furthermore, my luck wasn't as good as yours, so I'm still in the midst of mastering it. I can't use it just yet. Long Chen shook his head. Yi Lingxian was a bit disappointed, but she didn't force it. Yan Nanshan and the other grand elders exchanged a look. Compared to Long Chen, Yi Lingxian was still a bit immature. Long Chen didn't like exposing his power. That was a survival instinct. Perhaps he could dupe Yi Lingxian with this excuse. But he couldn't fool the four of them. They could already smell the scent of danger from Long Chen. He was definitely capable of using the Paragon Art. Having power but not wanting to expose it. Show off. Or even obtain other people's approval. At such an age. How few people were capable of this? Alliance head, how did the large powers react to my battle three days ago? Asked Long Chen. Ying's expression gradually became gloomy after being asked this.